In 2018, Stephen Chidwick steamrolled the competition to win the inaugural U.S. Poker Open. He's been crushing the high roller scene ever since, and now, four years later, he's back for another shot at the trophy. The 2022 U.S. Poker Open continues right now. And with that, we welcome you back to beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, to the Aria Resort and Casino, and to the Poker Go Studio. It is final table coverage of event number seven of the U.S. Poker Open, a $15,000 buy-in, no limit, Texas Hold'em tournament. And as we bring you inside, there is a former U.S. Poker Open champion and a current U.S. Poker Open chip leader, Stephen Chidwick, looking for his fifth career USPO title as we take a, leader, a look at the leaderboard presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best. It is Chidwick with the oh so slight chip lead. Thomas Boyven out of Belgium in second. Alex Foxen has his third cash of the series. He's in third to start the day. Dan Smith, Joseph Chong, Gino Reem round out our final table. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. And Brent, it's no surprise that we have Stephen Chidwick making another run at that Golden Eagle trophy. The Jeff, everybody knows the rules. Stephen Chidwick has to come into one final table at least with the chip lead and he's done it here today taking a look at that seating chart reem boyvin smith foxen our chip leader chidwick has joseph chong on his left they're playing for two hundred eighty-three thousand five hundred dollars and 284 points in the race for that golden eagle trophy as we look at the payouts presented by storm x our final six guaranteed sixty three thousand dollars a 21k pay jump from sixth to fifth to kick things off. Our Golden Eagle with a watchful eye on the final table as we walk you up to our final six. 15k, 25k with a 25k big blind ante. Okay. We have three minutes at this level. Two hands. But Dan Smith, oh. what a visor, beautiful hat. That is beautiful. Vegas, baby. Alex Foxen making his first final table here at the U.S. Poker Open. Also a familiar face. And how about this guy? Joe Chong, the baby. With two jacks oh, to kick things off. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you did guarantee Things are going to get a little wild really early. with Chino uh, Ream. Who knows with Chino. Like guy is absolutely electric. <laughs> cool. No more bets? We will defend with the A7. We'll flop A7. I'll give you five to one that you final table. <laughs> Good luck today. Have a stare down between these two. <laughs> That's 50,000. Maybe. <laughs> I thought this was my coffee, and I took a sip. It's all right. Call. I'll survive. Ring check calls the 50K bet. But now, and now. Turn the phobic people you'll meet. Turn brings another 10. Sure. It it's good not, that right? a yeah. favorable card for Chino Reem. If he decided to lead this turn, would put Chong yeah. in a very uh, bad spot. Propaganda. I suspect he would play a 10 just it's, like that, as well as a variety that. of draws. However, he does check. Yeah. Once you started, it's and checks once big. again from Ch from Chino on the river. It's cool. Oh, sorry, it's totally I mean. cool. Chong, um, he's going to eat out a little bit of value. He says, "I don't uh, believe you, Chino. If you had a 10, I'd have heard from you by now." If you had a king, you're good enough to value bet this river. Chong targeting a seven. Hoping to get called. Chino's one of those old school players. Certainly Can't he's been anything. working hard on the game, but he is all about the reads, the instincts. Heard him say there's not much I beat here, but oh, yep, does make the call. Nice job by Joseph Chong to get a That's little value out of this. Got jacks. all the value there with two jacks. That's beautiful stuff for the baby, Joey Chong. I almost got squirrely and shoved ace high first hand. I'm glad I didn't do that. This is Chong's second cash yeah, of the series. Said, can't beat anything, call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. sixth yeah. place in event number one. If like you look PLO at the line. chip denominations like presented by Storm Five times in the field. Which is for five K levels, twenty-five K. Once you see oh, my hand, you'll know what I mean. Raise up to that. What's yeah. the small? Well, I can't beat anything. <laughs> I'm all in. Thank you. Uh, my morning dirt drink. Oh, thank you. Hey, eh? What's up, Good luck today. Hey, 
I had an ace and a seven. That's what I called you with. Now he has a so king nothing, basically. and an eight of hearts. So basically he can't beat anything. Exactly. All right, show us what you've got, Belgium. You can beat Queen Jack. Thomas Boyven out of That's Belgium. Jack nine. Oh, no. Lives in the Jack UK. Nine. We got a fair Ooh. fight here. A top pair, a little flush draw. There will be blood. That top pair will fire. That little flush draw will continue. Thoughts on the turn. Gut shot now for Boyvin. Nice recognition by Chino. Trying to deny equity from those sorts of hands. Three quarters pot size bet. He feels and knows that that king is good. Boyvin calls. 285K in the pot, as you see in the bottom right corner of your screen. River brings another deuce. Reams hand is still best. He's 505K behind. Yeah, interesting spot here for Chino. If we bet again, what exactly are we hoping to get called from? Some sort of nine, potentially a 10 that would have peeled with a gutter and made a pair. And he's going to go ahead and check. I love this. Open the door for all of Boyvin's bluffs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Boyvin will take the bait, but Chino has certainly hung the worm on the hook. Might be bigger than the 10K PLO. Might be bigger the start. This no limit, right? Yeah, yeah. More rebuys are going to fly. Really weird. That is weird. 150? 150. Boyvin will fire 150K. The quick call from Reem. A nice quick bounce back for Chino Reem. Everything Chino does is quick. He is not the kind of player to tank. He's fast. In fact, I think he's a better player. The faster he moves, the faster everyone else moves. That's a part of his game. And wait till he gets the mouth run out of any faces. I don't know if that's a very good impression. I, I guess it's okay. Reem's first career U.S. <laughs> poker open cash comes in event number seven. 70 lines, entries. Like, it's like Price pool more than $1 million. <laughs> he's born with it. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Klein eliminated in ninth place. Did make the money. Renlin did bubble. It makes you feel bad whenever you like you lose a pot because like you just always like. <laughs> Blinds are up 15k, 30k with a 30k big blind ante. 55,000. Here from Stephen Chidwick for the first time as he makes it 65k with the two threes. This is really deep. Are we gonna finish. Lines went up. Yeah, that's good. 65, yeah. Yeah. Chino calls on the button. The classic, you can see a lot of this splashy really play from Chino. Yeah. I Obviously just not on the line. He's just playing standard poker game. right now. Like everyone had like carries that years. image yeah, with him. Like My God, Chino, he's so <laughs> wild. He's nuts. I think we're guaranteed the option to enter that. Even like after it's yeah. closed. It's just, got a little hey. twinkle in his eye. Perhaps an opportunity to <laughs> squeeze. Chidwick is our chip leader. Put a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, and there we go. Targeting Chino Reem's sort of hand. He just doesn't think he's very strong. Flatting on the button. He knows that Chino loves to see flops. Beautiful stuff here by Boyvin. This should work. It does get through. Wow. Must be hurting Chrissy's soul to miss all these, huh? Yeah. Thomas yeah, Boyvin takes down that pot. Hopefully she'll be pregnant soon, so then she'll have to miss more after that, <laughs> no. and we'll have kids. And oh, did I hear that right? Well, I see to just be at the poker table pregnant. He said I, hopefully she she'll be, be pregnant like, soon. Well, so what are they trying to have children, Jeff? Well, you don't that just is hope what it sounds unless like, you're yes, but it, I don't think he broke any like news. Like Putting the motion right. in the ocean, you know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> Alex Foxen speaking about his fiance, Kristen Pipnell. Poker power couple to say the least. Both fantastic players. Congratulations to those two. And congratulations in order to Thomas Boyvin. He's getting married in just five days. Five on days. Monday to his fiance Krista. Where are they getting married? They're getting Jeff? married in Vegas. Oh, they better be because he's he's out here playing poker five days before the wedding. Might However, be maybe a little bit of a fifty k. Could know. be a bachelor trip. I mean, who knows, Jeff? People do this. That's true. You wouldn't no, know. She has joined him in Las Vegas. 
I would know, by the way. I got to the bachelor big. party. So part when you the, went, uh, when you <laughs> had that that very long, unhealthy relationship Boom. years and years ago, you yeah. got all the way to the bachelor party. Yeah. 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 Where did you go? You were my pick. And Vegas. Like, now you've been playing for wow. way too long. It's great. Like, Fun, I fun times. Man. I recognize that. I Tune into these players for a moment. Get back to Well, you'll get an invite to the next one. I have so many questions. How big? Sixty-five thousand. It's a weird number to be off by. It is. Seventy-five thousand. It is a weird yeah. number to be off by. So Chino did open here. The ace queen suited the old premium and a little. Seventy-five. Yeah. I think like the last pocket time I was for I was Fox and chips and like they just weren't in a, in twenties anymore. Ah. Uh. They were 19 or something. <laughs> Reem going with a two and a half X raised size pre. Foxen will call on the small blind. Foxen is about 50 big blinds deep, so we are mining, getting an okay price because we are partially right? committed right. from the small like blind, minutes. despite Chino's no, rather zero. large no, sizing. Oh, he's playing. I think he also feels no, remarkably he comfortable post flop like, as well. Like Seal flop a queen eight four, a good one for Chino Reem. Eighty thousand. Saw how fast he fired that out there, Cheetah Reem. With the fives, backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Ten seconds. Call. We will check call. Semi inflated pot, considering the bigger sizing used by Chino pre flop and post. Yeah, I love this about Chino, and he's added some extra ammo with the flush draw as well. This sizing, a little too much heat for the Fox and Kitchen. I don't think we can stick around here. At this point, I'm a bit of a believer. Yes, there is the presence of two flush draws. Yes, we're up against Chino Reem, who we know can go bananas. But you don't want to just burn money. Uh, you know, a guy's allowed to have a good hand. <laughs> Certainly, No that's matter exactly what his reputation right. is. Yeah, that's sort of what we're seeing here. If Chino had nothing, I think he would look to check back a variety of turn cards. Flopped a good hand, turned a better hand. What are those hands? Chino Reem more than eleven <laughs> million dollars. Ace Queen of Spades. Ooh. And career live tournament earnings. Almost made a really tight fold on the flop. Couldn't do it. Nines. Seven. Close like that. enough. The three time World Poker Tour champion as we look at his bio board, presented by GPI THM. Fourth on Cali's all time money list, eighty third overall. Passes Greg Merson with a fourth place finish or better today. Going to be hard to pass Dan Smith as he's seventh on the all time money list. He's just $60,000 back of Stephen Chidwick, who is in sixth. It's remarkable that Dan Smith is seventh. I, kn I know we've seen him at a number of final tables, but he doesn't grind everything right. on the PGT. He's not playing all the 10Ks, not playing all the 15Ks. Of course, he's here today kind of guy that just plays, I think, now, uh, sort of when he's bored. Gets out and plays some bigger buy-in tournaments. What a life for Dan Smith. Nice. Welcome you all in on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Poker Go, as we take a look at the series summary for the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. Timon Nakamura Cold. with his open. second win of the USPO. It comes in event number six, the 15K eight game. 65. Leads the way in our series standings. Jeremy Osmus in second place, but a ways behind Nakamura. Nakamura 129 points ahead of Osmus. Cool. Right, getting sticky here. Chidwick was watching intently, thought maybe a three bet was coming with the ace nine offsuit variety on the button. Instead, <coughs> felt it's good enough to take a flop C3 in position 
Notice how liberally the Chino Reem will also come He's along from the big blind. Reem does fall off the best hand. I'll, I'll take someone else, you take yourself. And there is merit for Chidwick. Neck and neck chip lead with Boyvin, sort of trying to hold on to that position. You mentioned the pole, posi pole position at the top of the show. You don't want to steer too far away from that. The ICM matters. All of that money as you move up pay spots matters. Keeping pots small in position, great strategy. You're seeing that from Chidwick here. Also, his range is sort of... Well, it's undefined, really. I mean, you're going to see he's going to bet 10, 10, 5. He can absolutely have a 10 in his hand. It's so hard to narrow him down. What sort of holding did he call with on the button? This is just pure poker on display. Chino folding the best hand. You see the power of Chidwick on the button. and aware of everything. It's just, again, it's it's the position. What are we doing? You know, the Can we check raise in a weird spot once in a while with a hand like made. ace high or do we reluctantly yeah. throw it into the muck? There it is. Wow. That's gorgeous yeah. stuff. But chitty, chitty, Boy, bang, bang. <laughs> really well. In his second <laughs> cash of the USPO. The last Finished in fourth place uh, in event number four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For 53K. Was it a million? I won the last one. one, point, one point and his five. wife, Marine. Yeah, it was a 5K buying, yeah? That's big. It was a 10. Yeah. Chidwick has yeah. 14 oh, okay. career U.S. poker year, open yeah, caches now. One year, I think. Okay. And Watson won it. Five caches in 2018, yeah. four in and 2019, Carter, two. Think. I'm sorry, three in 2021. Second one this year. It's four I know USPO I call wins. Street, so I just pulled two pair. You heard Chino's comment there. Just folded that five. You know, I honestly oh. think, Jeff, the best play is perhaps a check raise hmm. on that sort of board. For two today, folds yeah. Your five folded. is pretty worthless, yeah. right? But you you can't improve five. on the turn. You might as well represent that you could have a 10, and you shut down a lot of the action. And just win the pot right then and there. Let's say we move on. And what a surprise. Chino involved. Held, you're good now. Almost three. Wait, she went to. Wasn't she not asking if she went to school? Yeah, she went to her in the preschool, yeah. Kids go at three. Pretty stacked final table. Take a look at this resume Chidwick with 23 wins, Smith with 22. And you might see Thomas Boyden's name on the bottom of the list and think, ah. Inexperienced, not ready for this. That would not be the case, as he competes at the highest stakes tournaments online. A big part of Gigi Poker's big series. Just finished 10th oh, yeah. at the Win Millions main event. And three year olds not talk, is a better question. He never stops talking. <laughs> uh -huh. She's the greatest ever. Always happy. That's awesome. Super funny. She's a big crier. Yeah. Wow. No, that's all. Fucking long long. Yeah. Pretty really good. I don't know. Pretty really good on planes. <laughs> 100,000. Raise and take it for Boyvin. Does it surprise you that? Chidwick's daughter is very calm. Not at all. Doesn't, doesn't <laughs> Not have a lot all. to say or cry <laughs> about it. Sounds a lot like her father. Yeah. Pretty chill, <laughs> relaxed human being. It's, it's hard, hard to rattle Stephen Chidwick. Yeah, sounds like nope. you're projecting that. Yeah. <laughs> Storm X is Pokerio's exclusive cryptocurrency partner. Happy to have them on board. Also happy to have everybody on board out there on YouTube. Twitch and of course Poker Go on our SVOD. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe now. Yes. Just stop and drop everything. Click that subscribe button. Show us working. your support for these free streams of the US Poker Open. And by the way, we need a thousand thumbs up or likes. 
Start clicking that thumbs up right now. Got to get to 1,000 in order to come back with a show tomorrow. And tomorrow's final table is the 15K Pop Room in Omaha. Just start clicking, Jeff. Just start clicking. Stop, drop, and subscribe. Open good. up a click shop. Whoa. Oh, that's yeah. not, okay. Anyway. Stop. Drop. Yeah, anyway. Boyvin opens on the button with ace eight. Fox in defense with the jack at nine. Boyvin flops a top pair. Fox in the Broadway draw and Brent, more importantly, three to the royal. Oh, the good the, three. The good three. The old okay. king, queen, and jack of diamonds. All you video poker junkies out there. Boy, even sizing up here, firing 115K into 185. I like this. You know, he's got top pair. The board is quite wet. Build a pot right now. It is sickening whenever you get check raised in these spots. Foxen has a fun hand to consider doing it with. Three to the flush, as you mentioned, Jeff, and that gutter. But when you size it up, sometimes you take away those opportunities and you disable the power that is Foxen, who will peel. Turn brings the eight of spades, two pair for Boyvin. Start with like 1.3, yeah. maybe touch under. Yep. <clears throat> Again, Boyvin's sizing on the flop, also great. You know a king is never folding, going to peel. So you're getting max value for the toppest of pairs on that sort of texture. 325. And again, goes pretty big. Yeah. 325 into 415, and Fox in immediately out of the way. Loving it early from Boyvin. The Belgian takes over the chip lead now with that Indeed. pot up to 77 big blinds. Boyvin's first career at U.S. Poker Open Cash. Had eight caches last year on the PGT for almost $600,000. Now, Jeff, you mentioned your uh, first bachelor party. Oh, you boy. came to Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes. And uh, I'm j I mean, what did you do, Jeff? Can you walk us through the evening, the day? A little golf. A little golf? Where did you play, Jeff? Some clubs. I don't remember where it was. Uh-huh. Some clubs? Yes. What kind of clubs? Nightclubs. Where do where do a group of young men go during the bachelor party yeah, in we Las to, Vegas? We went to Aria. We, the clubs. we went to Jewel at Aria. Yeah. Yeah. Great singer. Definitely the only club. No, not the not the artist. The, Matter, the huh? Nightclub. Nightclub here. Really? And then, okay. All right. Any other sorts of clubs? I don't. I don't think I would have to go back and check the records. Hmm. Overall, a success. A lot of glitter? Uh, oh, I don't uh, Raise and take it for Reem with the King Queen. Right. That was Wake up smelling like peachy focus. lotion? No. You're not folding my hand. <laughs> Did you wake up? Huh? Yeah. I don't know about How many anything. days later? <laughs> You're playing my hand, buddy. I was I okay think, overall. I I was Had some buddies maybe that weren't. Yeah. Well, you always do. Yeah. Bachelor party, right? Uh-huh. What else you got for us, I Jeff? got promo E. A new season of High Stakes Poker is available now exclusively on Poker Go. Brunson, Negranu, Ivy, and more. Battle and Poker's most iconic cash game. New episodes every Monday through May 23rd. Subscribe now. Use the code USPO22 to get a new annual subscription for less than $7 per month. We've seen that dog in the studio before. Will that That's golden doodle be on High Stakes Poker? Is Ali Amshurovich on High Stakes Poker? Did not play this season. Okay. No, we need to get Ali Amshurovich so on High Stakes yeah. Poker. No doubt about it. Anything else you want to talk about from your big night out from your first bachelor party years ago Not in Las Vegas? Not particularly, no, but looking forward to the next How one. How about a set versus uh, top two, Jeff? You want to talk about that? Top does indeed come 6-5-4, blind versus blind. Top two pair for Chidwick, bottom set for Joseph Chong. My 
goodness, a blind-on-blind blind encounter. Keep in mind, this is a limped pot. Absolute collision. 45,000. Chidwick leads for 45K. Chong will race here. 165. Makes it 165,000. You don't love it. Again, it is limped. You could be up against the deuce three, the seven eight, the seven three. Uh, Chidwick now sort of examining what hands well could I beat that he would be raising? Could it ever be a situation where he has four five or six four? How about semi bluffing hands, pairs, straight draws, combinations, flush draws? There's a plethora of hands that certainly we are, in fact, ahead of. No need to fold, would never consider doing so, but you will tread carefully. He does make the call. The turn brings an eight, which could slow things down just a bit. Okay, not a great card, clearly, for either opponent. Chong now trying to understand what could Chidwick have that he ended up betting and calling with. <clears throat> Variety, in fact, could include a 7x sort of holding. The player is not thrilled, but he's going to go ahead and bet anyway. Unlikely that a 7 or a straight would even raise if he did bet. 250, Betting 250k. This could let Chidwick off the hook. Chidwick, check calls. 920,000 in this pot. And the river is a deuce. Now the other end of the straight comes home. Any 3x combination. Quickly goes check, check, and Joseph Chong will show down the winner. A very fortunate run out, I believe, for Chidwick. Could have lost a lot more chips what did, what in that hand. Happen? Two pair? Six five. Joseph Chong, of course, his most memorable tournament finish, at least in our eyes, probably his third place finish at the main for more than $4 million. There's plenty of other scores on his resume, though. I'm a huge fan of the hoodie, I'll tell you that right now. A bunch of little mini Jordans all over that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Finished in sixth place to kick things off here at the 2022 oh, USPL. Joseph Chong now looks down at Queens in the small blind. Oh, let there be a heater for Chong. Here he comes. Two twenty-five. Two hundred twenty-five thousand. The Just get through. Chung's fourth cash on the PGT this year. He's in 14th place. More than 700K in earnings. Thanks mainly in part to his second place finish at the Seminole 25K. You know, he's yeah, one maybe. of those players. You, you when? took us What's back now? to 2010 when he final tabled the Again. main. He, I believe it. He hasn't gone anywhere Wonderful. since. He, a decade plus has passed. and. Chong is still playing at the, the biggest stakes when it comes to no-limit tournaments. Still in Las Vegas. It is oh so difficult to do to go that long throughout your career, continue to succeed and improve and embrace the game as we know it's evolving exponentially. 70,000. Take it for 
Stephen Chidwick. 2018 U.S. Poker Open Series Champion, USPO, brought to you in part by Zenny Eyewear for everyone, including Brent Hanks. I absolutely love my Zennies. Now, fantastic. I know that they're a sponsor for the show, but sure. I am telling you, you the truth, Jeff. I, how long have I been wearing this specific, this exact pair of For glasses? as long as Zenny came on board, if it, not before. Well over <laughs> yeah. a year, yeah. I wear them every single day. Oh, my. John. Go check them out. It's time with Ace King. 70,000. I'll tell you what, for an underpaid commentator, Zenny's price points are fantastic. Okay, I can good. afford them, yeah. That's saying a lot, folks. Cowboy Dan Smith going Vegas visor instead of cowboy hat today and defending with the 6-4. See a lot of defense from the big blind. Smith, about 40 big blinds to start the hand. 6-4, it's all right. You're connected. Yeah. You can flop pairs. They can come babies. Checks on the queen jack five. Smith, the founder of Double Up Drive, which has raised around $25 million Is that for right? charity. Yeah. Holy how cow. What you, how long ago did he start that? Five or six years know. ago? Doubleupdrive.com for more information. Stephen Chidwick's been a big part of that organization. Really amazing. Uh, Since 2014. My visor is off to Dan Smith. <laughs> nice. Six assured of $63,000. 21K pay jump from six to fifth. Boy, then. Queen six. Pressure from the button. I, I don't think I have it in me to attack Dan Smith and Alex Fox. <laughs> that is an intimidating duo in the blind. Sometimes you just got to close your eyes and throw out a little button steal, a little theft. Although he does look less intimidating wearing the orange tie-dye, <laughs> I will add. Look at this. Fox and sees right through it. Yeah, he scares the, the piss king out of me. His hands. Yeah. The three bet here at a 240,000. And just like that, I have soiled myself and I am folding instantaneously. <laughs> go back to folding for the next three to four hours, hoping to pick up a premium. That's Alex Fox in for you. His third cash of this year's U.S. Poker Open. Finished in sixth place in event number two, 11th in event number three. Here are the walk-ins. Boy, the Belgian in the mix at the studio. Good friends, Dan Smith and Steven Chidwick making their arrival. There's Chino Rima. Here, glance at the camera. Alex Fox in. Joseph Chong hiding behind John Reardon. Kind of works. It worked out really well. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Pick the action up here. Chung raised to 70K with the Queen Jack. Chidwick with the King 7 suited in the big. Sets up to a flop of King 5-5. Five, five, two clubs. Couple backdoor draws for Chong. What a life. But a nice one for Stephen Chidwick. Yeah, for Chitty. Beautiful flop. Beautiful hand at the moment. Such a good spot to be in. Obviously, he can have all of the fives here. Really, Chong can't. Unless he had ace-five suited exactly. Chidwick just gets to let Chong determine his own destiny. Happy to come along for the ride. A few decent turn cards for Chong, but perhaps not that one, the Eight of Hearts. Likely to just shut it down. Yeah. Chong cannot maneuver any further. You have to be very fearful of a five, 
clearly of a king. All you're beating are busted flush draws now by the river where, yeah, queen high could be a candidate to call with, but it seems awfully thin. Now it's Chidwick looking for some value with the king. 285. Pot size bet of 285K. Yeah, hoping to target some sort of ace high holding and get a heroic call or turn pair of eights somehow, some way. What I've loved thus far at the U.S. Poker Open for the majority of our No Limit Hold'em final tables that we've covered, every table has been very deep to start. No one has come in extremely short. It hasn't been this all-in yeah. fest right away. Today, especially, nearly 300 big blinds on the table to start. See a lot of maneuverability post-flop and pre-flop warfare. A little sure, sure glimpse please. inside the minds of the best players in the world and how they get it done. Oh. 40 minute levels with a 125K starting stack for our 10K and 15K events. Two a glimpse in here with the 10 9. Oh, Chong is king queen suited. Love Lumps the limp up. here, too, by Chidwick. Uh, a lot of times you see the attack from the small blind against the big blind whenever it folds to you. But now we we can come in with a hand like 10-9. Whenever we do get raised in position by the big blind, we can happily just, again, peel. 10-9 is a very good hand. Plenty of playability post-flop. Out of position. And he can do that with a variety of hands. Small pocket pairs, ace-x holdings, and you can mix in limp raises. Chidwick will also mix in limps with premiums from time to time in hopes of getting in a limp re-raise pre-flop. Obviously here, nobody home. Chong able to profit. Chidwick check bolts. I think you would have to say, Brent, that Chong in his one bracelet, won probably the most prestigious event at the World Series. Is it the 1K double stack that he won in 2019? You're saying it was the most prestigious. The, well, the double stack is looked at the as is looked at as the most prestigious event. Maybe it's the 50K Poker Players Championship. Maybe it's the main. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. A lot Jeff, of people are that saying that. That 1K yeah. double stack specifically mm -hmm. in 2019. Well, no, no, no. It's it's not really about the year. It's just about the event overall. And, you know, if you make a final table there, you've kind of established yourself as one of the elites in the poker world. So just a final table in general, not necessarily winning it. But if you just make right, the final... Right, if you final table the 1K double stack specifically at the series, it's just such an, an unbelievable accomplishment that, again, many people, not, not me really look at as, as a top. I got to tell you, Jeff, goal. I've never heard this. Yeah. Really, a lot of people are saying that, but it's almost like you heard final tabled lot. the 1K double stack. You know what? I did, World now Series that you mention it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, a little. I did find, yeah, last year I did. Nobody toots That's the old horn just like you, huh? <laughs> you toot everything but by yourself, don't you? <laughs> yeah. It's good. I cracked myself up. Yeah. Good on you, Jeff. <laughs> Y'all should have seen Brent's face when okay. I mentioned okay. the prestigious events. He's like, oh, my God, what I forget? I, I thought Joey <laughs> yeah. must have won like a 10K6 max or uh, something oh, massive. I, and, then, and then you hit me with the old double stuff, which is the best Oreo, by the way. Hey, uh, Hish Salama in the chat, by the way. He knows something about snacks. Oh, that man knows how the to eat. Man. What's going on, Hish? Everybody on YouTube, what is going on? Let us know. Uh, tell Jeff and I, where are you tuning in from? Oh, yeah. Worldwide audience here with us today. While you're at it, subscribe. Do it now. Click subscribe now. Just do it. Thank me later. While you're at it, click that thumbs up. We have to hit a thousand thumbs up on our YouTube channel in order to bring another <laughs> stream here tomorrow. Just start clicking. USPO brought to you in part by Global Poker. Free poker at its best.
70,000. Viewers from Finland, Chicago, Columbus, Ohio, Michigan. Columbus and Michigan were back to back in the chat. Jacksonville, Florida, Switzerland, Wales, the UK. Minnesota, I like that. Calgary, <laughs> Hawaii. What's up, Hawaii? Uh, Hawaii. Wow, Aloha. Ireland. I love Ireland. There's do Vegas, you? Pennsylvania. Yeah, I do. Point. Ever been? I've got a little Irish in me. Seven Mostly five, Polish, oh. but a little Irish, yeah. Silva, North Carolina, Kakalaki, Fort Wayne, Indiana. What's up, Indiana? Big Indiana guy myself, boiler up. We got yeah. Germany. North London, the Netherlands, that's probably Remco, Belgium, nine, nine, <laughs> LA. If we can count, which as we established. <laughs> Love it. Great audience. And as Poker Go says in the chat, we're only 365 subs away from 240,000. Oh, guys, come get on, get us today? to 240. Poker Go, if they get us to 240, can we do something special? Can Tell us it? now. Jeff and I can't do it, but you can. You've got all yeah, the power, got Poker the power. Go. Let's give something to the people. Poland. There's there Poland. Go. What's up, Carol? Sweden. Poland. The mix. I love the Polish. Good. You ever have Polish sausage, Jeff? Yeah. Do you, you like it's quite it? Quite nice. Yeah, I make a mean Polish sausage. I'm, I'm not sure. kidding. Yeah, I, I do. I know you do. I love it. I'm the only one in my family that loves it. My wife can't stand it. My boys don't <laughs> like it. But I eat it all. Wife can't stand the Polish <clears throat> sausage. What did you say? What? Chidwick with Ace 10. I'm just waiting for Reem to go ballistic. <laughs> maybe he's it might be on maybe the he's too well studied these days, you know, where we lost the the old Chino. Yeah, he's gotta have it in a play them all. Dan Smith with Jack ten of clubs in the small bond with a little bit more than thirty bigs. Yeah. He'll make the call. It's Foxen with the ace deuce off. Two of the more intimidating stairs in the game with Foxen and Chidwick. Never look at them. When when you're involved in a pot with these guys, just never right. look at them. Look straight down, find a wall, look away <laughs> in the corner, just look at anything and everything but your opponent. Only when it's one of these two. It's like looking at Medusa. Fox turn into a join. stone. <laughs> just pass away Ladies at the table. You're right. <laughs> Dan Smith, Alex Fox, and Stephen Chidwick. We'll see a flop of Queen 6 5. Check. Does not Check. really connect with anybody. Relatively dry. Three handed flop scenarios are rather complex. Steven's so well studied, it's all about sizing here. She's just going to knuckle back here. Maybe perhaps concerned. Three clubs on the turn. A flush draw now for Dan Smith. Does it open Straight up the for door Fox for Dan? Can he have some sort of Queen X holding? I think he can. Queen Jack suited variety. King Jack, or excuse me, King Queen. Rather than three betting out of the small, could have elected to call off of that stack size around 30 bigs. Chidwick was under the gun as the opener. And he's got that added puppy paw equity. He's going to come with it 85,000 to go. Semi bluff dialed in. way it gets through Chidwick as well now I've got good news to share with the good folks here on our YouTube channel Please. five signed decks of cards if we hit 240,000 subs giveaway here. will be on the poker go discord channel you can scroll up here in our chat and find where that channel is located 
like, let's oh, make sure you go mind. check it out. I believe oh, it is. No one's gonna do that here on the final table. You know what I'm saying? Discord. No, uh, that's it. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, people, people do. Yeah. And the decks will be signed by Phil Helmuth, Antonio Esfandiari, Nick Schulman. Who's at the final? Make sure you go check out the Poker Go Discord channel. It's linked in our chat. Yeah. Don't need to do it. Right. Doesn't, 70,000 doesn't seem fair. Well, <laughs> it's fair. What'd Joe say yesterday? Joe McCain, the Brock Perry rule? Yeah. The Brock Perry rule? What is the Brock Perry I, rule? I don't know, but Joe McCain finished in 10th. Yesterday, $31,500. Now, on the board. now there's Brock Wilson, Brock yeah. the Brain. There's Sean Perry. And there's Sean Perry. So he's combined the two into a Brock Perry. And what was the end of the Brock Perry what? I don't know. The Brock Perry rule? The bro oh, the Brock Perry rule. Yeah. Unless he's, it's like Brock slash Perry rule. I think maybe it's rule because was, of the. Uh, I, oh, you know what? Yeah. Are they talking about drawing for hands? Yes, with five minutes left in a level. That's it. Tournament director Paul Campbell draws a number one through four, and that dictates how many more hands we play at that level. I knew we'd figure it out, Jeff. Perhaps some manipulation of the clock by multiple players, including Sean Perry and Brock Wilson. It's it's all of them. It, yeah, it's not just those two. I think you have to add Sean Winter's name to that list. It's all of them. They all do it <laughs> to an extent. It's a great rule. All the players agreed it's a great rule. They were simply taking advantage of the situation at hand. They're playing for lots of money after all. Edges are very tough to come by in these high rollers, so they'll take what they can get. Fox in leading here with the King Jack for 70000 Strong with the overs in the gutter. Make the call. River is a blank. Both players a little bit in no man's land. Fox and called out of the small blind, decided to lead the turn here on this texture. Chong ob obviously didn't go anywhere with the gut shot. So what, if you're Alex Fox and what are you deciding that Joseph Chong was playing this way? It almost looks like Jack-10 and Queen and Queen Jack exactly. Maybe backdoor diamonds that would have been picked up. 220. The times that it was up against some sort of ace high holding that could have involved diamonds. We're gonna try and blow them off of this thing. Chong knows that. He's, he sort of knows his hand was on his forehead. Perhaps he can try and alter this tail. If he decided to call, peel, miss Rivers, can he find any bluffs on Rivers over top of Alex? Just going to give it up. Is it four good, Beast? Four good? What was the board? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four was good. Alex Foxen has more than twenty we million have, dollars. We have a break after? in career live yeah, tournament earnings. Because the first level was so short. No break. He's in eleventh no place break? this year on the PGT. That's no, exactly where he finished last year. He's a fascinating guy. He really is. I remember when Foxen sort of stormed onto the poker scene, playing you know more than one K to fifteen hundred yeah. level buy-ins, was crushing. Next thing you knew, he was taking his shots in 10Ks, and then the, the PGT high rollers sort of came around, and he just stepped in, pumped up, and started crushing souls. Foxen has been a frequent flyer every single major series. Remarkably intelligent guy out of Boston College, played a tight end in football there before injury led to his, well, really career ending. When it came to football, he finished second at the WPT Five Diamond Main in 2017, and two years later he won it for almost 1.7 million dollars. That's quite a feat. Well, that's incredible. Oh. He opens the button here. Chidwick calls out of the small blind with Ace Nine. 
Joseph Chong once in from the big blind with the 10-9. Three players. Jack 7-4 with two diamonds. Chidwick ace high with that ace of diamonds. Chong with the gutter. Fox in with the sevens. And the backdoor king high flush draw. And Chidwick has just been keeping Fox in, in check. He has not three bet him with the same hand. Ace nine. The first time was in position on the button. Now out of position from the small blind. Perhaps part of his strategy against Foxen is to keep pots small. <laughs> it's simply just flat with this portion of his range rather than three betting. We know how good he is post flop. Ace of Diamonds, a key card for Chidwick if he does decide to get a wee bit fancy, Ooh. and here it comes. Fancy indeed. The check raised to 200,000 out of the small blind. Look at these two just stare at each other. Foxen trying to count the chips. Chidwick just looking directly through his soul. You got big brain versus big brain here. <clears throat> Foxen will make the call. 625K in this pot. Brings a blank. It's the Deuce of Hearts. It really is a fascinating one. It, it looks like Chidwick should have some sort of massive draw. Would he ever do this with a hand like King Jack or Ace Jack? I, I'm uncertain. Again, his range seems to be uncapped when he just flats the small blind. Could he ever have been trapping? I think that little knuckle there is going to tell a different story. Foxen might feel a little bit more confident with that seven. While also a wee bit concerned that Chidwick did have some sort of massive draw that he decided to try and pump some chips into the middle with. How do we proceed? Unlikely that you're getting a fold out of Chidwick. If you are up against a huge draw, perhaps we just face our equity, meet the river head on and then decide. That's a clean card for Foxen. Nothing for Chidwick here to be able to tell any sort of story. He does check. Foxen is happy to check behind and show down the winner. A little peek under the hood, too. The boys yeah. got to see what Chidwick was turning over, what he was playing. That ace-nine offsuit, ace of diamonds variety. Chidwick could have had a hand like nine-ten of diamonds, Line which would have been that combo draw. Forty. And now they're saying, oh, you didn't three-bet me with the ace-nine. You're taking that approach. Taking a look at event number eight, the 15K pot limit Omaha is now underway. We see Eric Seidel out there, Jeremy Osmus, Daniel Negreanu, Max Coleman, Chris Brewer. Yeah, there's the mullet, Brewer. So the back of Scott Seaver. Is that Dan Zach, I believe, as well? Osmus seconds in the race for that golden eagle trophy. But up top, it's King Nakamura with 462 points. You like that nickname? The Shannon King? Shore oh, third. that's going to stick. Renlin in fourth. Adam Hendricks is in fifth. Today's winner will receive 284 points. The highest anybody can get would be Alex Foxen or Stephen Chidwick. They could move into second place. They're passing that man, Jeremy Osmus, who's on quite the tear. Four caches for Osmus. Goes back to back to back to back. This is coming off a victory at the Poker Go Cup where he took the cup yeah. home as well. I mean, he's trying to go back to back majors here inside the studio. Just letting Alex come back. You want him to see the three bit? 
Yeah. You want him to see the three bit? Yeah. <laughs> it's very rare that you hear Chidwick yet. talk during a hand. Me neither. I don't know what I have yet. I think Fox and ran to the bathroom. But Chitty, I'm going to squeeze this one like Baccarat. <coughs> I can't use a time bank for him. <laughs> yeah, he's not getting a time bank. We're just we're going to give him a full 30. <coughs> You know, has some time to squeeze this one. He said he'll give it the, the background right, squeeze. You see Fox and running in. Is he here? Sorry. That was not a fun Baccarat squeeze. I was just waiting for you, and Stevie still gave me the stare down the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have to wait, even if you're three betting anyway, the balance, you know? Yeah, true. <laughs> King Jack now for Chidwick. Thank you. Boy, even with 10 8. He is our chip leader. It, it, but it's anyone's game. Yeah. You know, Boyvin's got 50 bigs at 2 million. Ream all the way at the bottom with 23 bigs and 900,000 or so. I mean, anyone can win this thing right now. No one running away with it. A6 5, two clubs. Again, guys, we are inching oh so close to those thousand likes on YouTube. Take us to the moon. Keep clicking. And make sure you subscribe. We do have a subscriber giveaway going on right now. Once we hit 240,000 subs on our YouTube page, if you sign up for our Discord channel, we got a giveaway going over there. Autographed decks of cards from Helmuth, Esfandiari, Nick Shulman. All going out. Thank you all for tuning in. We would also like to thank one of our presenting sponsors, and that would be Tequila Comisario. Oh, Tequila Comisario. Ultra premium. Oh. The good stuff. Oh, I like that Añejo. That's the bottle Not we Añejo, got, Jeff. Yes. Oh, the little gear. Oh, my God. High quality. Oh, Top shelf. It certainly is. Check out that brand of tequila. Go find it, buy it, drink it, enjoy really is the the spirit of poker oh i like that yeah i didn't come up with it that tequila is the spirit of poker that was not original i didn't make that up yeah but, but uh, another guy i know did oh yeah we're gonna run with it we'll take it yeah <coughs> chipwick opens here boyman <coughs> calling out of the small blind Nine eight top pair for Boyvin with the backdoor flush draw. Chidwick with a pair of nines. Chidwick just loves ace nine. That has been his hand all day, and he he's one for. One for two going into this fight right now. Boy, can check calls. King of hearts in his hand as well. Such a beautiful ticket. That ticket now includes a gut shot.
not a fantastic texture for Chidwick. You have to be concerned about, obviously, the king, jack-10, queen-jack. Does check back. The river brings trips to Thomas Boyvin. And I don't think that really changes anything. Yes, it makes it a little bit more unlikely that your opponent can have a king, but I don't believe the range changes much. It, Players are allowed to make trips, Jeff, and we're still very concerned about being up against the king, up against some sort of queen or the jack-10. Certainly suspect yeah, Boyvin to value bet here, yeah, and I don't think Chidwick has much of a decision given that everything we just, we just talked about. Yes, he could have a missed flush draw. Almost a pot size bet from Boyvin. But this looks very strong, right? Can you find any bluffs? But just to play devil's advocate, if Chidwick doesn't have a heart in his hand, he doesn't have a mm, 10 or a jack. He doesn't have any of those key it, cards. Yeah. I know he doesn't. It really, all we're, if we call Six here, or a seven. we think we're beating the missed nut flush draw, a hand like ace, 10 of hearts, something that would have called out of the big blind. It's almost like we can eliminate any sort of queen that would ever be sizing up here. So we're down to basically jack 10 or a king and Chidwick, because yeah. that's what he does, makes a perfect decision once again. Well diagnosed by you, finds the fold. Boyvin extends his chip lead. A thousand likes, just like that, that's beautiful. Well, we're you're so close. Keep on clicking. Got to get to 1,000 or else no free stream tomorrow. And make sure you Pretty check out sure the Poker Go Discord channel as we inch closer and closer to 240,000 subscribers. Subscribe, subscribe. Sub That's hard to say yeah. three times fast. Slow it down. Subscribe. 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 Turn your notifications on if you want to be notified when we go on live. Opening here. Two seventy. Two seventy. Boyvin pouncing. And that three bet gets through. Thomas Boyvin certainly showing that he belongs. This being his first cash of the U.S. Poker Open. Doesn't play many events in the studio. Is our chip leader here in event number seven with six left. Still plenty deep, average stack, 35 bigs. Perhaps the first series he has played in the studio, Jeff? Maybe. I don't recall him ever playing in any of our previous majors. Maybe the only reason he's here is because he's getting married in five days in Las Vegas. <laughs> he played plenty of the Aria High Rollers last year in November, around the time of the World Series. So he's familiar with this level of competition. But yes, it does look like his first PGT Majors cash. About that. Brent said it, he's getting married on Monday. And his fiance Krista. Krista. They met in Thailand. Really? They're going scuba diving. They just happen to be on the same group. Trip. Yeah. She's from Finland. He's from Belgium. They met in Thailand. They're getting married in Vegas. How about that? That's how the world works. Krista's a high performance coach. What's that mean? What well, helped? Thomas said it helped him get it really on track and in. in Fitness and nutrition oh, and life. Oh, I was thinking when you said high performance, something to do with like edibles. Oh no, not that high. Just just your level of performance being high. Right, edibles. No, not not just you being high, but your performance level high. I still don't get it. <laughs> Alex Fox in the GPI Player of the Year in 2018 and in 2019. Golden Eagle. Oh. 
He went to Boston College. This trophy's made for him. Oh, they are the Golden Eagles. Right. Oh, I never even thought. Jeff, how have we never made we that connection? We never, never mentioned that once. It's probably because Boston College hasn't won anything lately <laughs> in any sport. <laughs> Not many trophies for the program. They're just smart. They used to be good. Yeah. And they had a big win this year, I believe. Chino opens pretty big. Goes to 100K, and Dan Smith as the King Jack of Spades with 25 bigs, using a time extension. Who we started with? Nine? A million? Thank you. up to the spot of Jack 9-3. Top pair for Dan Smith. And look how quickly again Chino acts. I'm telling you, I love this about Chino. Just instant. Absolute gin for Dan Smith. Top pair, backdoor shovels. the call. 540k now in this pot. Reem with 685k behind. Another jack for Smith yeah, on the this turn. Is, this is a dangerous card for Chino. He, he, type of guy that seemingly will, will discredit Smith from having a jack because another one showed up here on the turn. There's fewer in the deck. He can absolutely think that Dan Smith has still has a hand like King Queen. Just seen and played with with Chino enough. I don't know if he can get away from it on just one more street. He may have a huge river decision ahead of him. But we know Dan Smith is going to go barrel barrel. 225. Yeah, and this bet really perfectly designed for that river shove. When you look at Chino's stack size. Yeah, this is trouble. He's very sticky. A non-believer, but he has that that those instincts, those feels. Mm. If he picks up anything off Dan that suggests strength. Uh, perhaps he can get away from it. I know he does not want to fold this hand right now. You can just see it in his face, right? He, he's antsy. He, he's squirming. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, he just can't help himself. He was so close. Maybe he still is. There and it does is. does find the nice lay down. Very nice, you know. I say that. Good fold. Good fold? Yeah. He'll like to hear that. Is jack ball? That was all. Good fold. I guess that can also speak to you, and you've brought this up before, about the value or lack of value, I should say, in those small pocket pairs from an early ish position they're Good impossible hand. to play yeah. you're, you sort of hemorrhage chips uh, no. you know you open yeah. you miss the flop <laughs> what, still continuation yeah. bet then you're in a decision on the turn you avoid all of it by simply throwing those hands into the muck uh, you know as boring as painful as it is twos threes fours fives when you're sitting between 20 silly. and 30 bigs there, there's no value great to defend from the big blind maybe get a price once in a while from the small blind as well Love to see it. I have cards. Not anymore. Okay. 
Boyman opens here at the a7 of spades. Green with the king nine of clubs. Fifteen bigs behind now. We'll defend. Jack four four one spade. Boyvin bets them in. That's all he needs to do to take down that pot. Boyvin starting to create some separation he is, between the rest of the extremely field. Extremely aggressive. I he didn't win the pot, but I mean, thinking back to just the queen six open, mm -hmm. calling out of the small blind with king jack off. He is active. He sees every spot. He seems to be extremely self-aware, very comfortable. Has a wonderful presence at the table. I think you mentioned, Jeff, he's very well studied as well, plays high stakes online. Just the nature of the beast these days, when you decide to move up the stakes, you're going you're to walk into the best players in the world. you got to have what it takes. He had 14 caches in the 2020 online World Series of Poker on GG. 14? 14. It's Fox wow. and opens with ace-king here. That included a 40th place finish in the main event. Also during that time period, finished in second Party Poker WPT Championship for almost 400K. Speaking of the World Series, the 2022 World Series of Poker is right around the corner. And there's no better time than now to lock in a PokerGo subscription so you don't miss any of the action. Sign up for a new annual subscription or upgrade now using the promo code USPO22 to save $20 off the yearly price. That's USPO22 to perhaps catch Brent Hanks on commentary throughout the World Series of Poker. Ah, yeah, we'll maybe, see about maybe, that. Maybe, they, never, they don't give me any gigs, yeah. Jeff. I don't get any of them. I, I'm begging for them this year. I'm down on my knees. It's pathetic. I hope, I hope it really. works out for you. Yeah. The PGT making and breaking millionaires is one of those millionaires is all in here with two sixes. And Thomas Boyvin is the ace queen of one spades three. in the small blind. the call out of the small blind. Smith is out of the way, and here we go. Our first all-in and call at this final table. It's Chino Ream all-in and at risk with pocket sixes. Boyvin the ace queen of spades. Ream could get back to about 30 bigs. He wins this one. Oh boy, 10 9 3, two spades. So the six is technically ahead at the moment. You see, though, by the equities in the bottom left corner that Boyvin is the favorite. Deuce of clubs, though, on the turn. 15 outs for Boyvin. To bust Chino Ream. <laughs> the river's the five of clubs. Wow, he fades the whole world. It's always a fun little sweat. Little sweat. Extremely fun. Absolutely drenched. <laughs> As you would say, perhaps too many outs there? It was. It was too many outs. Yeah, 15 outs twice. Brick, brick. Chino Ream right back in the mix. I know everyone was rooting against me for a little, what is that? A little, a little 21, 21 ball. 21K pay job. Sorry, gentlemen. From sixth to fifth. I'm going to stick around a little longer. And that really bunches up this entire field. Yeah, and I mean, it's wide open. 29 big blinds for Ream is our short stack at 1.2 million. Boyvin, he's cut down to 1.8 million. Maybe this 1. is just as now. even okay. as it gets. Uh, 1.85, yeah. Thank you. Jam-packed leaderboard. Uh, 
initial adrenaline rush is gone now. He's tired. <laughs> well, wake up. Yeah, Joe, it's the U.S. I mean, poker it's, open. It's 2 o'clock oh, in the afternoon, buddy. Tea. I mean, what? Green tea espresso? Yeah. Espresso. Oh, there you go. I'll get a little caffeine boost. Middle, middle of the day. I mean, it might make you take okay. a shit. You know, mm -hmm. But you, you timed it well. 18 minutes till break. True. Big fan of uh, Jonathan, by the way, Ingles on YouTube. Thanks. In reference to the uh, WSOP. Zero chance seeing Hanks anywhere other than on Jeff's coattails. <laughs> <laughs> I love the trolls. Pretty good. That love is a good the creative one. trolls. That's a good one. That's a good one. Best of the day so far. Yeah. We can do better. Yeah, I, I agree. And I love coattails. Love having you on my coattails. Little coat, though, man. You need to <laughs> size up. Can't have you try on my coats. Painful, isn't it? Three, four suited, limp in. You can't even call. Sort of handcuff with 30 bigs and three, four suited. I don't know. That might be close. Being able to limp call off 30 bigs effectively out of position, your head's up. But if Dan Smith limp folded, then I'm sure it's right. <laughs> right. Great. Chong opens here with the king queen. Dan Smith with two nines on the button and 30 bigs. Essentially neck and neck with Chino Ream for the short stack. And I mean, keep in mind, Chong's only got 32. Everyone, it, yeah, it's a tight it's... race. What is optimal? Just call. C3, two nines in position. Extremely unfavorable texture for Dan Smith. Chong understanding, checking with the king queen. I think if he, even if he had a hand like ace queen, he would still check in this spot. He will allow bluffs to put a little money into the middle. You're never check folding. Dan Smith, well aware of the post flop strategy that would possibly be employed, knuckles back correctly. Turn brings another 10. And now what? I think Chon recognizing that Dan Smith does not have any 10s. It's very unlikely. Maybe, maybe Jack 10, Queen 10. Of course, of the suited variety. Even those would be awfully thin pre-flop to call on the button. you flip it, perspective Smith here uh, up against Chong. It, he understands that Chong would absolutely check all of his aces on the flop, but also all of these sorts of holdings. King, queen, air balls. We're ahead of those. River is a seven, nine still best. He knows. He knows. He sort of has 25. a feel exactly what he could be up against. A couple of nines. Maybe a couple of eights. Putting Dan Smith here to the test with these two nines on this board. This is great stuff out of Chong. Checks the flop. Bets the turn. Half pot river. With both of them knowing, like you said, he's checking plenty of aces on the flop. Yeah, this is just this is poker at its finest right here. You're flipping a coin right now if you're Dan Smith. You hate these spots. And lays it down. The bluff 
gets through for Joseph Chong. That's well done. Look at our leaderboard presented by Global Poker. Free Poker at its best. Now it's Smith, sixth with six left. Chong now in third. Yeah, that Boy, was barely on top. Nice separation, a little bit. Yeah. Chong, he was right around the 30 bigs mark, moves up to the 40 at 1.6 million. Dan Smith are, are now sort of clear short stack with 25 big blinds and a million chips. 1.6-ish, no? No. Oh, Kevin yeah. Thiel in the chat. Hanks is a Bills yeah. fan. He suffers enough without trolls. Million. Good point. That's where is he? I'm Good blocking point. him. Good point, Kevin. That's exactly right. The only thing that gets me fired up are the Buffalo Bills and my beloved Bonnies. Boy, do I love having a couple of kings right now. That'll get you fired up. Oh. So that's what Dan Smith looks at. to 90k chip with the queen 10 of hearts oh uh oh chidwick's just going oh. to run smack dab into the two kings of dan smith Chidwick going for it here, trying to attack, put pressure on Smith, who just happened to have the goods. Sometimes they have the kings. Now Chidwick, a big underdog. Smith in prime position to double up. A 10 in the window. Ace 10-7 with one heart. That's fair. Some backdoor draws for Chidwick. For now, looking for a queen or a 10. Six on the turn. <coughs> Five outs for Chidwick to bust Smith. Ooh, oh, the queen gosh. on the river. Good luck, y'all. Good luck. Oh, so How does he know? First time I ever sweated a card on the TV. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> How does he know it's just gonna come? That's oh. sixth place for Dan Smith. 63 Delicious points in the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy. Stephen That's a backbreaker. That also means it's a massive stack in front of Steven Chidwick. Well, that's a backbreaker for the rest the of the field. Appreciate the 21 ball, buddy. I'll do it for you. <laughs> appreciate it. I like it. A little Lady Gaga on the river for <laughs> Chidwick, and now all of a sudden, 2.4 mil. Closing in on 30% of the chips in play. I think that visor is going to be in the middle of Las Vegas Boulevard. That is not a lucky <laughs> visor that Dan Smith wore today. Just give him a bad hand so he can fold. <laughs> yes. Got That's my challenge of the day. 1.1. <laughs> End the day with 20 time bang. Check. <laughs> time bang leader. We know Stephen Chidwick plays well when he runs well like this. It's not fair. It's Jeff. the U.S. Poker Open, really. It's not fair. You're not allowed to be this good and also <laughs> run this good. It's, what is that? It's a lethal combination. 16. Kings and sixes now for Chino Lee. Damn it. I had it. Really? Yes. What is it? 
the best sand? <laughs> Could be a lot of things. Namja you. What did I have, baby? What did you say? Namja you. <laughs> That's the only way I know how to say it. 84K guaranteed to our <laughs> Do you final know what five. I said? Payouts yeah, yeah. presented by Stormax. No, I said I had king six. He said he had a man oh, wow. and a six. <laughs> Correct. But it, he sounds like the whitest guy ever trying to speak Korean. But ba baby's, baby's <laughs> Korean is like proper Korean. My Korean is like Americanized shitty Korean. <laughs> Sorry, coming right up. Good turn for you. Wait, uh, flop, yeah. flop of the six. Uh, yeah. I had you beat, right? On the hey. flop. Hey, Sai. My least favorite ace. Now we mentioned Chidwick Club. earlier, flatting yeah. with ace nine offsuit oh, in various spots. Ace. Now looks down at ace five offsuit. Gonna try to utilize that chip leader right. position. And he's gonna he's change courses five. against Foxen. Obviously, we can see he's walked right into it. Hold. Foxen starting the hand with about 45 bags. Extremely. The two different times I three bet Ace King and they just timed out. <laughs> just like, yeah, can't play here. All of it. Chip with out of the way. It's always a big gulp whenever you have to four bet two <laughs> jacks all in against the chip leader. And what with happened? that, Foxen takes the chip what lead. Yeah. You shove free? He called oh, so and then slight. TV mucked. He knew I had it. I was like, you didn't have it. Another look at our leaderboard presented by Global Poker Free Poker at its best. Fox in 2.17, Chidwick 2.12. One of the best. Chong and Reem. It nonetheless. Tens? Better than that. Round out the final five. Back to work for Chidwick. Bet. Mm -hmm. Chidwick has been very, very splashy and aggressive, which entices Chino to come along for the ride on the button, this suited ace variety. He is a very splashy player, more of a call guy. You'll like we'll see him put in three bets from time to time, but he just oh. loves sort of, Dangle. let's call, let's see three. I got position on you, buddy. Let's play ball. That's his mentality. From the streets, plays that sort of street poker. Although a little bit more studied as of late. Foxen wants to play ball as well. The King seven suited. Ace ten deuce all spades. Chino takes the lead with the pair of aces. Chidwick the only one with a spade. around. Another 10 on the turn. With Chino thinking when he checks behind, no spade, no 10, no spade, no 10. Yeah. Have to be a little bit worried about Fox in, in the mix. Yeah, weather's really nice now. The weather's really nice. Though, so. Yeah. Aren't we due for like some rain in Vegas? <laughs> some flooding? Why? Not. Yeah. Why? Why do we want to flood in Vegas? What? Joey, baby, come on. We could probably use some rain, and it's not. With it's Las Vegas, that doesn't rain here very rarely. No, but that's why we could use it. I mean, flooding is a little extreme. Well, good question. Um, what? It's the desert. No, I'm aware of where we're located. 
What are you, are you, you have but it, it rants you're worried about, Jeff? You got no, your, not me personally. You got your fake AstroTurf, you got to get water? <laughs> no. I got a real backyard, thank you very much, in my house that, that I rent. Is that the way that you wash your car when it rains? Yeah. No. You see me as like the manual car wash guy, kind of outside, you know, with a couple towels Absolutely and a hose. Absolutely not. No, <laughs> that's why I'm thinking you just that rely I just wait on the, for the rain and then go rely outside. on the rain. And <laughs> it's good enough. Just drew for hands remaining in the level. Four more, the max. Now your bachelor party. Did you make it rain that night, Jeff? I don't think so, no. No, you didn't do I it. Didn't. You didn't have the water singles at, I did uh, not. at one of your nightclubs that you fancied? No. Nope. Have you been back to that nightclub since that you went to numerous times? Uh, I don't think so, no. You're not a shareholder these days? You know, if they sold ownership, it'd be interesting. You it's have a pretty like profitable a business. Do you have, a, do you have I mean, a Jeff table every time you go in? No, no, no. Welcome back, Jeff. Not Here's recognizable there. Surprisingly enough, they're a big baby. poker fan. Chong opens to 90K. The Jack 10 of Spades. Chino Rima is ace king. 400. Sizable. Three bets. He just wants it right now. To 400,000. Making me fold Asian aces here. Asian aces? Yeah. Ace four? No. Oh. Food. Asian aces. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is a pretty hand. You got a pretty good chance against Ace King, though. Not bad eyesight aces. 60 40 versus Ace King. Roy in the YouTube chat says Las Vegas gets five inches of rain per year. The U.S. averages 38 inches of rain per year. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Click like, click subscribe. We're so close to that 240,000 subscriber you know what number. Are? Now, click really? it. Subscribe. Oh. Eight. Love your guys' support eight. out there. Yeah, really? much love. Great really numbers throughout it. the U.S. Yeah, it has been fantastic. Went there, you could like show them aces, and they'll still call you relevant at eight. <laughs> All right, eight, eight, eight. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. That's it. Boyvin opens. Chong looks down at King Nine in the big. Eighty-five is it? Eighty-five. Jack ten four, so it's top pair for Boyvin. Chong has flopped a gut shot. Not even appeal out of Joey. I, I thought maybe we got to take one off there with the pure queen, perhaps a little king equity, but just gets off of it rather Thank quickly. You. Yeah, out of the way. Moving on. Fox and Boyvin, Chidwick, Ream all bunched up at the top. The leaderboard. 44 to 50 bigs, and then not that much of a drop off before. You find Joseph Chong Hold. with 30 bigs. And Jack for Chong in the small bond. He'll limp in again. King, Queen, Deuce. Chung bets, Chung wins. One more hand at this level. Twenty-five 
20k, 40k with a 40k big blind ante. Now, what kind of whale do we have on Boyvin's uh, shirt, Jeff? I know you're a big whale guy. You've studied big whale guy, mammals yep. of the sea. Have you been able to uh, decide if that's the, the blue whale or the, the humpback? No, but let's get stats department on that. would really like oh, to know. How about Chad? I'm, I'm just curious what Wait kind of whale we're dealing with. People. Certainly the slow slimming variety, much like his playing style, extremely slow. Do you think he's I, Boy, it takes a lot of time. He takes the full 30 oh, seconds in a lot of spots. Three, hmm. And I love this. He's just yeah, trying to take Gino six, right four. to the cleaners. Four. Robbery. Chino exact opposite when it comes well, to decision-making, by the way. Just that's instantaneous. True. That's true. But I would say Boyvin plays at the same pace as Foxen and Chidwick. Up for debate, I guess. I've noticed it to be relatively slow, like this hand, for example. We take the full 30. We do the little finger tap. Well, that finger tap was in 11 seconds. That's fine. Chino's already, t he's checked six times already. <laughs> Chino just went and had a quick smoke, and now he's sat back down. I just had a smoke and sat back down. You need to use the restroom? Look, we keep time on our stat screen here. Is that, that out of line? No, this, 16 seconds, this, 17 this seconds? This hand, it seems fine. It's okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dream is king's full. That's 200. 225, is it? Two. Oh, that's two, okay. Like right now, what do we? Are what do we you mean? We have a six. We can think about it. <laughs> what are we? Anything else you want to add, Jeff? You have 30 seconds to act. I cannot wait to change it to 10 seconds to act instead <laughs> of 30. <laughs> that's never going to fly. I cannot wait. And he uses a time extension. Sure, yeah, that's let's fine. take a little more time. But that's why the time extensions are there. No, I get it. Yeah, let's take a little more. Uh, no. Disagree with this one. All good, Jeff? Approved so far? I think it's, I mean, it's, it's a tricky spot. Tricky spot. Check, 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 and then Reem blasts off. I'd take a little more time, time then. I, that's, uh, yeah. Sure. So you think he's acting, that he's not really thinking about calling? No, I, sadly, I, I do think that he's thinking about it. And they, they have the opportunity to do that with the system that's in place. I get it. I'm, a, I'm an advocate for, for faster play. No, I agree with it, that. It, it takes away from the television product. Well, the TV product, we just edit that one down and boom. <laughs> All right, our we first are gonna break. Yeah. Before we go to break, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And it is presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best. Boxing on top, Chidwick in second, Reem tied with him. Thomas Boyd and Joseph Chong round out our final five. USPO coverage continues right after this. Oh, thank you. Hey, eh? Good luck today. I had an ace and a seven. That's what I called you with. Now he has a so king nothing, basically. and a beat of hearts. So basically can't beat anything. Exactly. All right, show us what you've got, Belgium. You can beat Queen Jack. Thomas Boyvin out of Belgium. Jack nine. Oh, no. Lives in the Jack UK. Nine. We got a fair fight Ooh. here at top pair. A little flush draw. There will be blood. That top hair will fire. That little flush draw will continue. Jack Clark 
is on the turn. Gut shot now for Boyvin. Nice recognition by Chino. Trying to deny equity from those sorts of hands. Three quarters pot size bet. He feels and knows that that king is good. Oh. Boyfin calls. 285k in the pot, as you see in the bottom right corner of your screen. River brings another deuce. Reams hand is still best. He's 505k behind. Yeah, interesting spot here for Chino. If we bet again, what exactly are we hoping to get called from? Some sort of nine, potentially a 10 that would have peeled with a gutter and made a pair. And he's going to go ahead and check. I love this. Open the door for all of Boyvin's bluffs. I don't know if Boyvin will take the bait, but Chino has certainly hung the worm on the hook. Maybe bigger than the 10K PLO. I can read this. This no limit, right? Yeah, yeah. More rebuys are going to fly. Really weird. That is weird. 150? 150. Boyvin will fire 150K. The quick call from Reem. A nice quick bounce back for Chino Ream. Jeremy Osmus in second place, but a ways behind Nakamura. Nakamura 129 points ahead of Osmus. Oh. Getting sticky here. Chidwick was watching intently. Pick the action up here. Chung raised to 70K with the Queen Jack. Chidwick with the King 7 suited in the big. Defends, that's up to a flop of King 5-5. Five, five. Two clubs, couple backdoor draws for Chong. What a life. A nice one for Stephen Chidwick. Yeah, for Chitty. Beautiful flop. Beautiful hand at the moment. Such a good spot to be in. Obviously, he can have all of the fives here. Really, Chong can't. Unless he had ace-five suited exactly. Chidwick just gets to let Chong determine his own destiny. Happy to come along for the ride. A few decent turn cards for Chong, but perhaps not that one, the Eight of Hearts. Likely to just shut it down. Yeah. Chong cannot maneuver any further. You have to be very fearful of a five, clearly of a king. All you're beating are busted flush draws now by the river where, yeah, Queen High could be a candidate to call with, but it seems awfully thin. Chidwick looking for some value with the king. 285. Hot size bet of 285K. Uh, hoping to target some sort of ace high holding and get a heroic call or turn pair of eights somehow, some way. You're saying it was the most prestigious? The, well, the double stack is looked at the as is looked at as the most prestigious event. Maybe it's the 50K Poker Players Championship. Maybe it's the main. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. A lot that, of people Jeff, are that saying that. One K yeah. double stack specifically mm -hmm. in 2019. Well, no, no, no. It's it's not really about the year. It's just about the event overall. And you know, if you make a final table there, you've kind of established yourself as one of the elites in the poker world. So just a final table in general, not necessarily winning it. But if you just make right, the if final, you final table, the one K double stack specifically at the series. It's just such an, uh, an unbelievable accomplishment that, again, many people, not, not me really, look at as, as a top. I got to tell you, Jeff, goal. I've never heard this. Yeah. Really, a lot of people are saying that. But it's almost like you final tabled the 1K double stack. You know what? I did, World now that you mention it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, a little. I did. Find, yeah, last year I did. Nobody toots That's the old horn just like you. Huh? <laughs> you toot everything but by yourself, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good. I cracked myself up. Yeah. Good on you, Jeff. 
<laughs> Y'all should have seen Brent's face when I mentioned Hi. the prestigious events. He's like, oh my god, what I forget? I, I thought Joey yeah. must have won like a 10k <laughs> six max or uh, something oh, massive. I... Foxen, Reem, Chidwick, Boyvin, and Chong are final five at event number seven of the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. Welcome back to the Poker Go Studio at the Aria Resort and Casino. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. Brent, Foxen with two million as our chip leader. Chong with 1.3 million is in fifth place. Just no separation between our final five. And nobody is a clear favorite to win this thing. It is as wide open as it gets. 84K guaranteed to our final five, a $21,000 pay jump from fifth to four. Ream with Ace Deuce on the button. 25K, 50K with a 50K big blind ante. 110. Not very like quick on everybody there, even Foxen, who can be a little hearts. slow. We're yeah. picking it up now, Jeff. The other one was easy. Maybe they got my note. The other one was a deuce. I mean, Davy in the chat makes a good point, says that this was Foxen or Chidwick. You yeah. wouldn't be moaning about timing. Classic Brent no talking No point in nonsense. lying about any of this, right? No. Now, in my defense, you I have always criticized. Talk oh, sorry. Go ahead. I always talk yeah. nonsense, and I have criticized everybody. You have. You have. You are very fair in your overall thoughts about timing. Best bad. And, and you're not by the way, anybody I, I do half kid when I when I sorry. say right. these things. Right. I forgive you. When he has a non-decision pre-flop, he folds very quickly. Just right there in the muck. No tanking 30 seconds to full 10 4 on the button. 1.25. 1 1 Sean Winter is the worst defender of some random tanks. Winter right. gets away with it because he does such weird things <laughs> yeah. with his eyes and If you're at the table with him, you would think he has the mutters things. most confusing yeah. decision of his life. Chidwick will defend here with the King-9. Six four three one one diamond. Chong with the back door. Straight flush to Han does have a gutter. One of the flops that he's going to go a little bit bigger sizing wise on. That's 175K and gets the king high to fold quite quickly. Well done, Joseph Chong. Like that. A little bit of a loose wide open from Chong under the gun. 9 7 suited off the shortest stack at the table. And then blasts off on the 6 high flop against the big blind. Very fat bet. StormX, PokerGo's exclusive cryptocurrency partner, on board for the U.S. Poker Open. We'll be on board for the next StormX Invitational. That's what it sounds like, Jeff, yeah. Coming to a PokerGo studio near you. 100,000. Thought I played very well in the last one. You played okay. You didn't get the chips in that great. Hmm, yeah. Hard to win with aces. <laughs> oh, that's right. You were only with aces pre and lost. Boyvin opens with the king queen. Chong defends. Queen eight suited out of the big blind. Check. You know how much you started with? I had 1.25 before the last hand. 1.4. Thank you. 9.532 two diamonds. Boyvin with the king high also has the king of diamonds in the back door straight draw. And it, it is always interesting to, to watch these situations unfold, right? Boyvin. Opens with a hand like king queen. We all would do this. Okay. Chong defends queen eight suited. We would all do this as well, mm -hmm. or should. Action now on Boyvin. What do you do on this texture? How big and why? And you see, I, typically that range is a little bit more advantageous for Chong, the, or the defender from the big blind. Boyvin sizes it up, perhaps the king of diamonds in his hand. Exactly. The two over cards in equity. The nine is sort of key where we can turn a ten or a jack and add equity for any time we are called. 
really starts nice to get stuff. those hands with a three in it thing and ugh. Yeah, you hate ugh. it. You put those hands, you target the threes and the fives on that board. All right, Boyvin, I like you again. There we go. <laughs> Just had a little falling out, but we're back. Oh, I always like them. You know how I get, Jeff. I get, when I see things, I, I derail. Well, you see Chidwick with two Chidwick nines here. That's the button. Uh -oh. Joseph Chong with ace queen in the small blind. He is our shortest stack with around 25 bigs. Oh, all all of it. Money in the middle. Yeah, a high five. Here we go. Okay, if you got it, you got it. I'm all like in there. Boyvin out of the way, and Chidwick asks for a count. Lays down the nines. Wow, that is a sick fold. It really is, perhaps because of how quickly Chong had an instant decision, recognizing the strength of that holding. Ace queen, ace king, eights plus. Well, he's holding the nine, so we're only ahead of eight, so we're flipping against the rest. Let's see, yeah. run out. Let's see how good of a fold it was. I'm really tight now. Huh? I'm really tight these days. <laughs> Look at Jesse Chung. and sevens. Bio board. Or eights. No, seven. Presented by GPITHM. Chidwick opens here, and everybody to start this hand in between about 1.6 and 1.9 million. Unbelievable. It's just so close. Neck and neck. Down and the neck finish and line. Neck and neck. Oh. Boyven defends with the king nine. Six five four rainbow. Fire 80k. Boyvin out of the way. Stephen Chidwick's 14th career U.S. Poker Open cash. That's top of the list. Four USPO wins. That's second only to David Peters, who has five. Only four players have two or more wins as we look at the chip denominations presented by Stormex. The 5Ks are the blues. The 25Ks are the purples. Stormax? I believe sure. Stevie won the first ever oh, U.S. Like, poker yeah, Open, yeah. if I remember I correctly, remember and that was a different kind of trophy like back in the day. Yeah. Thing. Had yeah, sort of a globe, Hornet. crystal ball-like yeah. design. Looked a little like the NBA's yeah. Larry O'Brien trophy. Then we went to the Golden Eagle a couple of years later. 400? Oh, there we go. This John opens with sevens. Reem the quick three that to 400K with the ace-queen of spades. 
Don't worry, I always have it for you. Old Chino's back. I always have it for you, don't worry. <laughs> In that 2018 USBO, Chidwick had two wins and five final tables. With King I. And it was only an eight event series. Yeah, he destroyed right. that series, the first ever USBO. And by the way, Chino Reem now with that pot, he is now our chip leader wow. out in front. Great shot of Chino behind the Golden Eagle. That's that's just awesome. 100. Looking back at the 2018 USPO, Brent Hanks with two caches. Yeah, I was firing back in the day prior Fifth to the discovering the microphone. Eight in the 10K. Good for you. Yeah, had a shot, Jeff. Had a shot. Good chance. Boyvin might step into it now. The king suited on the button, attacking Chong, who just race folded a moment ago. 135. 135. Uh, and that's probably going to have to make it at least 150. And you yeah. see the acknowledgement from Boyvin that, okay, maybe didn't quite see that meant, raise from no, Chong. No, I think he meant 235. Or maybe oh, see, he I didn't think realize he didn't it. Full, it. Yeah, all right. This is interesting, right? Because Chong has a monster, so what does he want to do? Maybe a little so. click back four bet. Try to induce. It's just free money out there in his mind. Four fifty. Four hundred fifty thousand. Did I save money? Was that a misclick? Two thirty five. Yeah. yeah. Obviously it was a misclick. He didn't know you opened. No, no, I no. knew you opened. I just no, wanted to do 235. You were <laughs> right. He wanted to go 235. <laughs> you did say money. Oh, wow. you knew he opened? Yeah. You just said the wrong number? Yes. <laughs> well, then you saved money. <laughs> he did indeed. But I couldn't tell it opened. That's how good I run. <laughs> saved 85,000. <000. laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Now Boyfriend looks down at five. Okay, now I love this guy. <laughs> 100. Well. Chong defends with King Six. Does flop a king. Boyvin, if he does bet here, it's more about trying to represent range than anything else. In his mind, he should have all of this. Un more unlikely that the big blind has flopped a pair. This bigger, wettish texture. Clearly, we can see the roles have been reversed. And just like that, he automatically knows the bad news. Now, he does have the five of hearts as possible backup. Ten rolls off on the turn. Presentable bluff opportunity, I suppose. Likely Joey has a jack in his hand for the reasons we stated above. It would probably be a pair X combination for Joe, Queen X or King X. 175. And he's going to do that. He's going to try and represent a jack. Nice sizing, a bit milky. All with the intent of sizing up on the river. Joey knows this, by the way. He knows all of this. He knows exactly what could happen by the river. Here is the seven of hearts. And another favorable card for to try and pull off a bluff as a flush comes home. 825,000 in this pot. Uh, 
Time bank used for an additional 30 seconds to act. Boyvin knows he's up against top pair at, the, at a minimum. Could be possibly two pair at this point along the way, but if he bets here, he's representing a jack and or a flush. He is trying to blow off exactly what Chong has. One second. Waves the white flag, gives it up. Chong shows down the winner. And now it's Joseph Chong who moves into the chip lead. Yeah, we're going to see this little teeter-totter back and forth for all these players. So everyone is so, so close right now. Boyvin, after losing that pot, drops down to the bottom of the barrel. 1.1 million, right around 20 bigs. The average stack is about 35 bigs. At one point in this tournament, every one of our final five has had the chip lead at this final table. Right back to work for Boyvin with at least a queen. Chino defends the 6-4 off. What? Oh, uh, yeah, we're good. Thank you. That's okay. Check. 9952 spades. Boyvin does have the queen of spades. A couple backdoor draws for him. Fires the men on this paired board. You know, says, I got you on the cards, into the muck. You take the chips. Brent Poker go in the chat says, we are 16 away from 240,000 subs. Oh, here we go, guys. If you're tuning in and you haven't already subscribed, do it now. And we're, while we get there, the 240,000, we have a giveaway. Join mm -hmm. our Poker Go Discord channel. The link is there in the chat. We are giving away five autographed decks of cards by either Helmuth, S. Fandiari, Nick Shulman. You? Uh, probably not. You get it. Subscribe now. Join our Discord. While you're at it, click that thumbs up. We want to bring you guys free streams whenever we do run our majors. Appreciate all of you for clicking the thumbs up. We've got over 1,300 likes today. Wow. And if you want to sign up for PokerGo, you can use the code USPO22 believe our last couple events will be on there exclusively. Chidwick with the ace five of diamonds. calls on the button. I love when he calls like that. A little here, yeah. a little there. Splash left, splash right. Couple Sixes salvos. for Boyvin. Yeah, and he's got that short stack, 22 bigs. He knows how wide Chino can be on the button. He knows how wide Stevie can be raising pre. This might be a good enough spot for Boyvin to take. Oh, I just did not see this out one of the small blind. Foxen with the king 10 of spades. In the big blind with a lot of chips out there. Ten seconds. Call. He will call as well. This is rare for this point at the tournament to say, but we are four handed to this flop. Four players. Are. And that pop comes 10, 7, 5 with one spade. It's top pair for Foxen. Boyvin with sixes, Chidwick with fives, Reem with fours. What was that? 
Pairs for all. Huge. <laughs> Double suited. Very rarely are you taking a flop four ways when Why? all four stacks there, involved right? are below 40 big blinds. This is a, sort of a unicorn situation. Nice numbers too. Nine, nine, six, six. 110. Chidwick will fire small here, I mean, 110,000. Boyvin makes the call. Maybe a little concern for Fox and worried about Boyvin. It looks like he should have a lot of pairs pre-flop. Then again, considering how short he was, could he rule fives and sevens out if he suspects that those would just be all in pre? Of course, Stevie the aggressor. Foxen can't go anywhere with top pair and the backdoor spades. So we've whittled the field from four to three before we see a turn card. And the turn is the three of diamonds. It's a gut shot now for Boyvin. Foxen's hand is still best. Oh, it's Boyvin leading here on the turn, leading small on the turn. Would he do this with all of his sets, Jeff? A small bet to des designed to shove various rivers. You can see he's left a little more than 700,000 behind in his stack. Ten oh, this is crafty. Fascinating hand. Foxen's still not going to go anywhere with his top pair. Yeah, right now it just looks like Foxen 100% has a 10. Could he have turned a straight with 6-4? Maybe, but Boyvin knows no way. I've got two in my hand. Stevie cannot continue here. He is completely shut out of this pot. I don't see any reason <laughs> or rationale how he can continue. There it goes. And so now the field decrease from three to two for the river and the river is the deuce Foxen's hand is still best 1.2 million in the pot yeah and Boyvin knows Foxen likely has a 10 can he possibly pull this off well he's really sort of selling it too right just he looks nervous. He probably is nervous. <laughs> he just shuts it down. I, I suppose we, we sort of a blocker sizing on the turn in hopes that we get to see a cheap river with some equity. You like eight back or seven? Hoping seven. Foxen maybe has a five and Chidwick was just betting too wide on the flop. Back. bank for 30 seconds or more to act. Part of me, if I'm Fox, and I, I sort of want to check back just so I have a look at Boyvin's hand. I want to see what he's doing this with. Add it to the Rolodex of player All notes. In. Oh, wow. Foxen is just relentless. And this is kind of bizarre, right? Could he ever have some sort of five, a hand like five, four? where he would have been getting a decent price with a pair and a gut shot to have called the turn and then turning a five into a bluff by the river. That's what's running through Boyvin's mind right now. Even hands like eight, nine that could have been there that were open-ended, still getting a price. 
Show eight, nine high. <laughs> You'll see on the screen. One time, back. <laughs> and Alex Foxen moves back into the chip lead. I feel like so many players in today's day and age would be content with just checking back. I got a 10. Let's just see it. This hand has been so bizarre. I, I Foxen sort of, always goes for He did. Yeah, yeah. He went the then. He was thinking, all right, well, maybe I can get a hero call out of what exactly? I'm not sure. Six is exactly, Jack I guess. Ten, yeah. Ten. I had two blockers for that board. For eight, nine? For that board, I had oh. two blockers for the nuts. You didn't the fours? I did. Was pocket fours good? No good. One, three? Foxen raising out of the small blind with the four deuce of hearts. Chidwick with an appealing one. Yeah, pretty. Puppy paws, 10 7 variety. I like both of these hands, Jeff. Even the four high. You've never folded either one of these hands. Absolutely not. I'd play it identical to how these two have. I'm sure, yep. King, nine, six. One heart, one club. Chidwick also with the gutter. Jackpot alongside Brent Hanks. Thank you all so much for joining us for our continuing coverage at the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. <laughs> at the final table of event number seven, $15,000 buy-in. More than 280K up top. Fox and leading here. That's four high, backdoor flush draw and backdoor straight draw. Oh. Chidwick not going anywhere quite yet. Two of the most intimidating stairs in the game on display. Oh. Eight of clubs on the turn. Hello. Chidwick just buries it. Chidwick is just hoping he stares at him now. <laughs> That's the look of a man who's got the absolute nutter butter stony baloney. pumps the brakes. Why not? If you know what? If you turn the nuts, and you picked up a straight flush draw, never bet. Just let yourself try and hit the straight flush. There's, there's a bonus being paid out today, Jeff. <laughs> High hand of the day. Got it. Three thirty-five. Three hundred thirty-five thousand. Two bets. Fox and snap holds. <laughs> oh. 
Well, it took long enough, but we got there. <laughs> End of the hand. Time now, Brent, for crew member of the day. Hello. Liz. All right, Liz. Our stage manager, who we absolutely love with oh, the high kick wow, as well. Wow. Impressive. That was quite nice. Got up got there. that foot in the air. Liz is just the best. Brings a positive attitude every single day for every single stream. She's awesome. We love working with her. Liz, our crew member of the day. A breath of fresh air. You walk in, you know Liz is there. Instant yeah. smile on the Always face. Smile. Right. Boyvin in for most of it with the eights. Chidwick with the king queen suited in the small blind. Boy, been starting the hand with about 15 bigs. Ten seconds. Sit down. Chong with sevens. You got seven total. Yeah. <coughs> All in. Sevens are good enough, and here we go. But not good enough when you see the eights. Boyvin in line for the double up. And that would put him at about 30 bigs. I'm feeling the seven this time. Flush draws are covered. Do? Usually I don't, but. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. John uh -oh. says he's feeling Against it. Against Macau aces, too. Against Macau yeah. aces. Eight aces. Boyvin versus John. <laughs> Jack 6 3, no 7. You go for the max pain? Max pain. 4 5 Something would be some diamond. sort of pain. On the river. What happened to the 4 5? He's, that's what he's talking about, max pain. No, I, I think max pain is ace 7. Oh, okay. Another Jack on the turn. It's not an ace. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, 4 seven, 5. Chong said seven, he was two. feeling it. And all of a because you can feel it six. coming, yeah. and you're like, like you're like GG guys, you know. Said he thought seven of diamonds on the river. Oh, oh, it's the eight of hearts. Close. Three side heart. <laughs> Was one of y'all. Three across eight. and a heart. Exactly. Mm, Chino <laughs> says. <laughs> yeah. Thomas like Boyvin right now. back in business. Seven twenty. And Chino, I have like one four. Excuse me, Chong still in the basement. Ooh. Down at one point four million. Twenty eight cool. big blind. <laughs> Not cool at all. Bit of a jolt. I seen that river card. Hit the music. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. It is presented by Global Poker Free Poker at its best, and for now. For the time being, it has Alex Foxen's name on top. Every one of these players have been in that chip leader spot. Chino Reen, Stephen Chidwick, Thomas Boyvin, Joseph Chong. Found out our final five. I don't even know how we would set a line for these guys as far as betting. It'd be Who pretty would win even the final across table. the board. It's going to be yeah. close. Maybe Chidwick would get sort of the, the favoritism because, well, who he is oh, and what he's done. Yeah, but Foxen with a little bit of a chip Foxen lead would be the slightly yeah. favorite. Yeah. So think. what do you think? Foxen and Chidwick would be your My two pardon. favorites? Yeah, that would be so. uh, That's why he was asking you. Man. Maybe <laughs> minus 150 for Foxen. 50, no, I don't Even think Foxen's money for a minus. Chidwick. A minus uh, <laughs> I think Foxen's like <laughs> plus 200. Plus but that 200. would be the overall favorite. All right. With five left. Chidwick 250. Yeah. Seems reasonable. I mean, we got to make a little money for the sports book, right? So plus right. 200 plus gotta 250. Juice yeah, yeah. We got to got to charge you guys. What did you want the plot to be? King 6 7 more of one of those cards, so that's for sure. Works for John, six, five. Five. More sixes would have been good. What's the small? 25, 21, yeah. what am I saying? Another six would have been all right. What did you just say, six, five deuce? Yeah. That would have been a really good flop for me. Yeah. 
That high kick Liz did when walking into the studio, right. what would happen to you if you tr attempted one of those? Well, I wouldn't get any higher than my knee. Right. Would you be in pain? Would you think you would strain oh, a God. quad? Yeah. Or I, 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 I can't move. Yeah. It's like a, a, a sloth. Have you try one. Giant Pear? sloth Pear. of a man. <laughs> bluff. Pear was good? Heart. Pear was good. Not very flexible. Can you tell with the heart? Yeah. Never have that. that. You couldn't beat that? Even stretching, you know, you touch your toes. Right, yeah, I've yeah. never been able to get all the way down. Well, it's hard. You got a long way to go. Long path. It's not about clicking. Shit with flop strips. It was uh, the merge bet. Both of you guys think about clicking a lot. Never calling. They usually do. Click. Yeah. We did reach that 240,000 like subscriber calling. mark. We're from 2010. And Pretty that giveaway has begun yeah, on our Discord channel. So thank you all so much for subscribing, for tuning in, for liking you know? the stream, all the you good can. stuff. Have they selected the winners yet, Jeff? Or how's Just the giveaway? picking the first one right now. Doing it right now on Discord. All right, Zipier. So I guess you can still get in there. Two hundred forty thousand subscribers. Pretty cool. Congrats to everybody at PokerGo for putting a lot of work into this YouTube channel. You know, Remco, Aiden. Timmy D, the commish. Oh, yeah. You. I don't do anything. Oh, okay. Not two, you. Three, four, or two, two, nine, no. But it's all about you guys watching us from home. Or from work. Or from school. Remco has really become the YouTube grinder over yes, at uh, Poker Go. He loves YouTube. Not again, boy. Oh, we're limping. Okay. Three. Yeah. yeah. Three five. Stone zero of a hand here for Foxen. Once in a while, he'll apply pressure. Come with a three four x sort of sizing, just to attack and put a ton of pressure on Boyvin, who is our short stack. There it is. That is the sole intent, is to just win a lot of pots right here. You know Boyvin likes to limp quite wide to try to see three. Just print money. That's all this guy does. Printing press. Alex Jones Foxen. 60? Sorry. No. Don't think so. I'm you're not big blind, but... Big one for yourself. Big one for yourself. What? Okay. Have you not had a nickname for Foxen before? I, had here. I feel like he's such no, a consistent presence. I just go by his presence. middle names. Like, like cool. no. really? Blind's going up 30K, 60K with a 60K Counting big crows, blind ante. Mr. Jones. No? I know the Counting Crows song. Yeah. I don't know what I'd get. The tank? Tanks. Beast? I, I think Gino just calls him Beast. Yeah. I don't want to call him the tank because that insinuates that he's tanking, even though, you know, size would indicate that he's just a massive force of a man. Four twenty-five. Ooh, Chidwick. A, a How Foxen did he know? Like I mean, what was that, that we yeah. saw earlier? Foxen with just the king X off, and Chidwick does it with the king four off suit there. Pounces on Chino. Timing is perfect. Stephen Chidwick sixth on the all-time money list. Was about 60K ahead of Dan Smith coming into this final table, so he'll extend that lead by just a little bit at least.
Four deuce of spades in the small blind for Chidwick. He'll limp in at this 30k, 60k level with a 60k big blind ante, and Joseph Chong looks down at two queens. A lot of premiums for Chong today. Up and down, roller coaster of a ride. Such a pretty sight here. Can't beat anything. No? I got, got a shove after that. Event number eight going on right now. Brent, you want to give us an update on yeah, that? Yeah, the uh, 15K PLO. I'm going to give you the top five chip counts right now. If you want to check out live reporting, head on over to PGT.com. Click on live reporting. You'll see everything there. Top five, number one, Dylan Weissman, who is a PLO expert, 340,000. Sam Savrel, also 338,000. Third, Jordan oh. Sperlin, 325. Fourth, Ladarren Banks, 288 and five. And Zeno, Anthony Zeno is here, 250,000. Worth mentioning that Jeremy Osmus, right outside the top five really at the moment. Battle. Again, that <laughs> final table will be going on here on tomorrow. Possible. And that'll be our stream, our coverage. Osmus, second place in the overall USPO standings. Pretty quiet series for Sam Sobral. One min cash. Jack 6 a two pair for Reem. Couple of backdoor draws for Chong. Let's see, we'll check call. And the turn brings one of those backdoor draws. From the ace of diamonds. Flush draw now for Chong. Calls once again. Reverse the Queen of Spades. Chong does not get there. value here with the two pair. Yeah, what a beautiful turn card for Chong. Unfortunately, nobody home on the river. However, doesn't rule out the possibility of a large bluff. Having the king in his hand able to represent king 10 somehow. And he knows Chino's not the type to fold. That is <laughs> probably a very wise decision. Versus blind battle goes to Chino Reem. He's currently third in chips. Eighty-four thousand dollars guaranteed good to our fold, final baby. five. How good? Good. I mean, depends what your hand was. I think the other option was all in, no? You got nine ten. Uh, Fox had noticed what you did. Or if you have two pair beat, nice hand. Chong was perhaps thinking about the check shove. Now this is the old Joe Chong I remember oh so well. 6-3 suited, button. Not gonna work. And this is the Chino I remember oh so well. Pile drive, King-10 suited, good enough. This is event number seven of a 12 tournament series. Buy-ins have been increased to $15,000. US Poker Open features a mix of different poker variants. Let's check in on one of them. That would be event number eight, the 15K Putlam in Omaha. Eric Seidel in the mix, Scott Seaver. Jordan Sperlin, Shannon Shore is here. There's Daniel Negreanu. Oh, 
Oh, Nakamura is here, and he's also on top of the series standings. King Nakamura leads the way with 462 points. Here's Shannon Shore. He's in third. Awesome. You know, Shannon told you, Jeff, he's going to be playing the 25K, yeah. the 50Ks. Obviously out there playing a 15K PLO. So he is chasing down that Golden Eagle as well as the $50,000 prize money up top. Assuming we'll see Ren Lin a little bit later. I, mean, I saw Adam Hendricks in this. Every time I open your button, 15 if you were in my spot, you do the same exact thing. Please. Hendricks in the top five after winning <laughs> one of the 10K no limits. That is a very strong statement. With the, Only with, been two two chances so far, or two. Well, both times you would have you would have done the same exact thing. I, I believe you. I have no doubts. Foxen versus Chidwick again. Foxen limps in. Chidwick has the 9 8 of spades. Love this hand, though. 9 8 that of spades? Pretty. The shovels? That is a pretty it's one. It's the best suited 9 8 combination you can have. Is Jeff. it? Oh, 100%. Huh. He knows it. He's just going to limp behind. Watch what he flops. The here. trap? Oh, yeah. Trap him. Yeah. Well, it does come 8 5 3. Pair of fives for Foxen in the backdoor draws. Pair of eights for Chidwick. Everyone hovering, you know, between 40 and 20 bigs. This is the the calm before the bust out storm. Absolutely inevitable. Fox and leading for 90k. Chidwick making the call. Turn is the king of hearts. Three hundred sixty K in this spot. Is this the hoodie that you thought Jeremy Osmus was wearing the other day? Well, the, I actually I saw the encounter earlier before the final table started. Stevie had on a very small T-shirt, and he was chilly. So he asked Jeremy for the hoodie, and now that is actually Jeremy's hoodie. Is it really? Yeah, he asked him for it. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure you could ask Jeremy Osmus the same thing, and he'll confirm yeah. the story. Will he really? Only one way to find out, You're Jeff. telling me Stephen Chidwick just... Pick today of all days to not bring a hoodie to the Poker Go studio. So we've seen him in a hoodie Listen, really it's, it's every day for four outside. years. It's warm outside. The weather is, is delightful here in Las Vegas. And it is quite nice. Inside the studio, it's a little, a little oh, brisk. A little cold. Yeah. Oxen is checked again. Chidwick will check back and will show down the winner. It's another pot headed in Stephen Chidwick's direction. Wanted to point out a brief moment from yesterday's coverage that I enjoyed oh so much. The walk in to the Poker Go studio for Bill Klein. Let's take a look. 
out. Is Brent Hanks working today, do you know? Uh, Good. He always says such nice things about me. I bought him a present so he can understand how I play the game. All right, so I'm going to leave this for Brent, okay? Uh -huh. Well, there you go, Poker for Dummies. Now, he says it's so you understand how Bill plays, but I think you might have just needed that. Oh, well. I started reading it last <laughs> night, and I, I've never felt better about my game. And by the way, I did want to point out, Bill, he had that book in his back by his rear end, and then he, yeah. and he pulled it out of his pants and then gave it to me. I... I I didn't realize That's that true. the first I didn't time think around. About that, so he's, yeah. yeah, no, I, Bill is uh, he is he's about the best, the most likable guy on the PGT. Plays almost all the events. He's going to come out for the Heads Up Showdown as well next month. Uh, he is a Purdue Boilermaker alum, and you're a big Purdue fan. And my wife yeah. and Earl family—they're yeah. all Boilermakers. They all went to Purdue. That has become my second favorite team. Love cheering for him. Bill heard you and I talking about Purdue on a show. Yeah. He wore his Purdue hat yesterday to play, and he signed the book to Brent from Bill, Go Boilers. Gave me a little note on the inside, and uh, I will cherish it for the rest of my day. <laughs> That's awesome. Bill Klein, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think he's playing PLO. I'm not sure he enjoys I haven't PLO. I have seen him I yet, yeah. Hold. It's hard to believe we've done this many shows and had no idea that Bill went to Purdue. Yeah, that surprises me. It is. Speaking of surprising, Foxen actually has the goods. Uh-oh, oh, and Chong is going to run into oh, it. Exactly. Call. The quick call from Foxen, and here we go. Joseph Chong all in and at risk. With ace nine against Foxen's ace queen. Well, he saved me from being dominated by you. Foxen looking to take the chip lead back once again. Interesting. No spades. Chong just looking to mm -hmm. stay alive. I don't have a heart, so both suits are alive. True. Queen, jack six, two Save hearts. Me a lot it's of money right now. Still going to be tough for Chong to find a way here. I want a 10. Turn card. Is the six of hearts. Now you stand up, yep. you grab the bag, yep. like you're walking out of here. Yep. You've collected nine outs. I, I to the river me. we go. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was John dead. Looking for a heart. I wasn't sure if you were doing the fake get up. Yeah, uh, me I, too. I wasn't I was sure. Like, Why aren't you oh, it's a genuine get up. <laughs> Three diamonds on the river, and we good say game. good game to Joseph yeah, Chong. Out in fifth, $84,000. At its second final table this yep. series. Yep. And we'll see much more of the baby Joey Chong along the way. Nice little series thus far. A couple final tables, as you mentioned, Jeff. Don't look now, but Foxen has accumulated the largest chip lead of the day thus far. 37% <laughs> of the chips in play. A look at the leaderboard presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. Foxen at 3.2 million. Chino Ream about a million behind. Chidwick right there. Thomas Boyven is our shortest stack. About 1.2. Our final four guaranteed $105,000. Got a 31K pay jump from fourth to third up top. $283,500, 284 points. In the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy. You have like 2 million. Uh, a little more, right? Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 2.2. Thanks. Greenland's in with the queen five, and Boyvin has the goods here in the form of the ace queen suited. That's a move wins in the pot. Thomas Boyven, now the Belgium, lives in the UK. 
He and his fiance, Krista, going to get married in just five days. Do you know where in Las Vegas I they're don't. going to get married? You didn't pry? I did pry, but I just can't remember the answer, to be honest with you. Do you want to crash the wedding? I could see you and oh, us. Yeah. We could be uh, wedding crashers well, out Well, I think here. it's like a six-person wedding, kind of so it's going like to be tough to crash. Even better. Yeah. Yeah. Beat you. We'll become one with the fam. Just they both have their two best friends here, and that's about it. But, yeah, we could jump in there. I'd love to officiate the wedding. You'd be a great wedding offici official, officiant. Is that the right word? Oh, no. Well, I, I gave you two. Officiant for a wedding, yeah? I'd be an efficient officiant. Well, I don't know if you'd be efficient. Well, you just have to say a couple words, you know. Yeah, but you Do could take you advantage take of the opportunity and just you take him. go for a while. You may now kiss the bride. Might give a sermon. A little background on how you got to know this wonderful couple. Maybe go along on the honeymoon. I'm sure they would love that. <laughs> I'll supervise. Why do they need supervision? Oh. Fox in the jam. Fox in the wind. Now the next time you get married, I, didn't, I haven't gotten I married before. I would love before. to <laughs> supervise your honeymoon. I would not like Take that Take me either. along for the journey. I'll be your photographer. <laughs> I think we need one on the honeymoon. I'll, I'll be your chauffeur. Do you bring photogs on the honeymoon? Photogs? What yeah. is it? What, is this what the kids are saying these days? Photog. A photog? Photog. Oh, you're just a, it's, you're, you're abbreviating. <laughs> I'm like trying to be cool by abbreviating it. That's just what. Very hip. Uh, she's in that local news business back in the day. It's local like what? Photog. News? News. Oh, news. N-E-W-S. Photog and new, I mean, that's a thing, too. Oh, true, yeah. A lot right? of photogs in, in a lot news of and nude yeah. worlds. Anyway, I'd love to, love to join you. Think about that one. Five hundred. Ooh, Chidwick going to try another three bet. Against Reams Open. How much you have, Chitty? Just over two. But Reem this time has a much stronger hand. All in? No. Uh -oh. And the four bet shove. Snap fold by Chidwick. And Chino Reem is chipped up. It's up to about 2.8 million. Entered the day in sixth place with six players left. We haven't seen that as too much of a problem before at the USPO. As Adam Fried, or I'm sorry, Adam Hendricks walked into event number three as the short stack. Yeah, won it. Well done. Thanks. You too. Thanks. King nine for Foxen. One thirty-five. All right. Chino defends the seven-six. Yeah, uh, Chino loves the gamble. Stick it in there. C three. Here we go. Not quite the three you want when you are holding the seven-six. Be great if he just helicoptered into the muck right now. Alex, save yeah. us the thirty seconds. Here you go. Right, just right in the muck. I, I won't continue. Pretty, pretty close. That was that. there, right? Yeah. Good fold. Yeah. <laughs> I had the best hand versus that speed of a fold. <laughs> of course, I had seven high, so. Yeah. I had the best seven high possible. All right. You're in pretty bad shape. All right, the nut seven high. Lightning can strike, you know. It's yeah. on three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> Sending at about 60 bigs. And it's going to utilize that stack. Try to pounce. 
He opens with the king six off. Yeah, you'll notice his strategy, the game plan has shifted as he can now take over and put a ton of pressure on everybody. Shidwick 25 bigs, Boyv in the short stack with now 15 bigs after having to fold here from the big line. It is Foxen, it is Chino up top. Shidwick and Boyvin sort of hovering a little bit below. And still, we are a long ways from being over. Yeah. Still about 145 bigs on the table. 40 minute levels here at the 2022 U.S. Poker Open for every event except for the 50K main. That will have 40 minute levels until registration closes and then move up to one hour levels. Believe in the King 7 suited in the small bond with 15 bigs. All, right. All of it. Call. And Foxen calls quickly with two jacks. Thomas Boyvin all in and at risk with the King-7 suited. He has run right into it. It works sometimes, but not this one. A little bit more than a two to one dog. Need to get lucky here to stick around. Boyvin versus Foxen. Heart in the oh. window, 10-8-3 with two hearts. That certainly opens the door for the Belgian. Let there be moisture, a little sweat. Looking for a king or a heart. It doesn't come on the turn, but the turn does bring the nine of diamonds. Straight draw for Boyvin. You see the 16 nine, like outs. Oh. Now it's tough. Now it's tough. Heart, a jack, a six, or a king. We'll keep Boyvin alive. And it's the three of spades. Again, too many outs in the deck. Impossible to hit. Foxen continues to build that castle. Boyvin, fourth place, takes home six figures, Jeff, 105,000. And 105 points in the race for that Golden Eagle trophy. Good to see Thomas Boyvin at the Poker Go studio. And if we don't see him again, we wish him the best of luck. He's getting married. Absolutely. Five In days. five days, you'll forget about this terrible yeah. high walk. Didn't I get there one sort of beat? Years. Got some good honeymoon money, though. Oh, yeah. And then there oh, were three. Yeah. Those three just acquired a 31K pay jump. And Foxen now more than 50% of the chips in play, starting to take over. at 180k blind versus blind with the jack six of clubs. Chidwick has king queen. Starting to hit with 25 bigs. in the window, Jack behind it, so trouble brewing for Fox in here, potentially. and leading for 125,000. Okay. Chitwick, relatively underwrapped. I love every bit of this so far. Okay. So often three-handed, we have 25 bigs to start a hand. A guy raises from the small blind. You look down at King Queen, yeah. instantly you think, oh, I just got to move it all in. He doesn't do that. He trusts his abilities post. He wants to keep worse hands involved. 
knows that King Queen is a very strong holding, and here we go. He puts Fox in right in the blender. Middle pair, backdoor clubs. What do you do? Keeping a worst hand involved here. Just getting maximum value at the moment with top pair. The turn is the 10 of clubs. So Foxen turns the flush draw. Chidwick turns the open ender. To go along with his queens. That might be enough for Foxen to want to further invest. Chidwick 965 behind. There's a million in the pot. You can see the sort of SBR situation stack to pot ratio, essentially one to one. Oh. Chidwick rips it in here, almost a pot size shove. And it's decision time for Alex Foxen. Foxen is trying to rewrite hands history prior studying the tape, remembering the film. What does Stevie ever show up here that a Jack could possibly be ahead of? What sorts of draws would he ever play like this? Could it ever just be the 5X of clubs and for whatever reason he put in a raise with bottom pair and backdoor puppy paws on the flop? So difficult trying to find those hands you beat that Stevie would be all in with. Otherwise, you're up against top pair, perhaps two pair. Is our equity aligned? Is it good enough? 30% to win the pot whenever our opponent simply has a queen. Fox and pretty flummoxed by this spot as you see him firing another time extension for another 30 seconds to act. Chino texting away, hoping for some chaos here. Another time bank used. Certainly a tricky one for Alex Foxen. Makes the call, and here we go. Chidwick all in, at risk, and ahead. Foxen has plenty of outs. You see him on top of your screen looking for a club, a jack, or a six to eliminate Stephen Chidwick. Best battling it out at the U.S. Poker Open River card. It's a blank, the three of hearts. There's the double for Stephen Chidwick. Yep. And it all started pre-flop. Chidwick's decision to simply call okay, with King Queen off of 25 big blinds led to getting max value and a full double up on later streets. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, he is one of the best to ever do it when it comes to No Limit Hold'em poker tournaments. Should we just do something really, really fun? Wait, how much do you have, Alex? Three? 3.2. And Chitty, now you have 2.5? Uh, should be right around three also. Oh, yeah. We should just, we should just stick it in, boys. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> you know the whole world will love it. What's don't, fun about that? That would be amazing, yeah, but I don't funny. think that these <laughs> players are going to agree to that sales pitch. Well, you know, Chino loves to gamble. He <laughs> says, come on, let's go. Let's go. Red or black? 
Flip a coin, see who wins it all. Old school Chino, representing the Gamblers Guild. I'm willing to do a three-way 150K flip. <laughs> Why not? It'll be fun. I believe him. It would be fun. A very brief moment of fun. Instead, we can have a lot of fun. Yeah, the I'll tell fun you what, is right here. If I was guys. in Chino's seat and I was up against these animals, absolutely, boxing, if you'd want to gamble, Chidwick, gamble, gamble. Yeah, come on, boys, talk him into yeah. just flipping <laughs> for it. I'm sure he feels like he's a bit of a dog, but you know, Chino is a, he's a bulldog. He he'll he's scrap not scared, with anyone. Yeah. yeah, he'll scrap with anyone. He knows they're geniuses. That these guys are two of the best tournament players in the world, perhaps ever, in the conversation. Leads. Chino calls and turns the four. seems maybe content to giving up his hand. He has to believe that Chino is connected in some way, shape, or form, being called on the flop, and again, it goes check, check on the turn. It looks like Chino does, in fact, have a pair. If we bet here, what are we trying to fold out and how? Okay. And he does check. Chino is finally checking behind and showing down the winner. Foxen, Chidwick, Ream, a three-horse race for this title comes along with $283,500, 284 points in the race for that Golden Eagle Trophy, the USPO Series Championship. A championship that Stephen Chidwick won in 2018 in the inaugural US Poker Open. And one he almost won in 2019. How much are you playing, Chino? 2.7. We are deep. Fox and more than 50 bigs. Chidwick, 47. Ream, about 45. Fox and raising with the 8.5 offsuit. Yeah, and how many times have we seen this today out of Fox and from the big blind whenever the opponent is limped in? Foxen has a stone zero sort of holding, and he does this simply to apply maximum pressure in position. He knows he gets a lot of folds pre-flop, and if we got to go to the streets, we got to go to the streets. Ace Jack nine, open ender for Chino Ream. Let's see if he adjusts at all. What sort of limp call range does Chino have? Yeah, there's a lot of suited connectors, baby pairs, perhaps. Quite a bit of it is this sort of holding, right? Chino with queen 10 off, you have to be worried about a hand like jack 10 off, but Foxen is just gonna tell a story. I raised it up pretty big pre. How much? I'm gonna blast here on the turn with nothing. I'm gonna represent that I have some sort of ace X holding. 240? He makes the call. Almost a million in this pot already. Turn delivers another ace. Check by Reem. Oh, so interesting now for Foxen, who has had absolutely nothing thus far in the hand. Just eight high. Checks back. Check. 
very quick check from Chino on the river. Yeah, Does just, Foxen see the door open here? With just queen high, it, it looks like he's got a jack, right? I mean, what is, does Foxen really think he can get a jack to fold? Chino acting so fast. The verbal, there it is. I yeah, mean, Chino's, I think, little speech play, his antics. He's going to win this pot with queen high. Foxen shuts it down. That's the power of live poker at times. You can see he's a little upset with himself. That's the Chino Ream effect right there. And that's the new chip leader of this tournament. In his first career U.S. Poker Open Cash. Chino Ream first with three left. in seventh at the World Series of Poker Main Event back in 2008. More than $1.7 million, a three-time WPT champion. He's run right into it here. It's Alex Fox, and it's not just the Ace of Hearts, but the Ace of Clubs as well. Venice to 450,000 and Chidwick has 210. Oh, all of a sudden it is freezing inside this studio. An ultimate cooler shaping up. Chidwick starting the hand with just under 50 bigs. You can see there's only 110 left in the deck. Chino has the 10 of diamonds. A disaster for Chidwick. Time bank used for an additional 30 seconds to act. Oh. And Foxen loves to hear that. Chidwick has run right smack dab into it. Foxen with aces, Chidwick with tens. He has Foxen slightly covered. And let's see if Chino bites his tongue about saying he had a 10. I think he will. He's been around the game long enough. You don't want to make the guy aware that he's only got one out left right. in the deck. Queen six deuce, Foxen has the clubs covered. You see two outs on the top of your screen. We know that there's only one out left in the deck for Steven Shidwick. Does he find it on the turn? He does not. Find it on the river. He does not. Chidwick not eliminated just yet. And just a devastating cooler for Chidwick. We believe he is down to just over one big blind remaining mm. in his stack. What a spot. What a hand. That's that man, the beneficiary of it all, Alex Foxen. As dirty as it gets, yeah. man. I mean, that is that is painful. Chidwick, you know, you can see he's, he's frustrated by it, but that is just the nature of the game. Nothing you can do with those stack depths. That's what's left of that Chidwick castle. Just a couple of blueberries. The rest of the bushel. Belonging to Foxen, who now has 64% of the chips in play, up to 5.6 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. 
It's a nice time to pick up bases. Yes, it is. I agree. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say anything because. You guys were in all in. I feel you thinking that. That's so no, weird. no. You had a 10. I, yeah. I, I had 10 six of diamonds. I didn't want to say anything, oh. though. It's so weird, man. Yeah. Foxen at I the read before. Like, yeah. I feel you restraining yourself from saying that. Yes. That's exactly what was going on. Well, if anybody can pull off this kind of comeback, it is indeed. I don't Steven know Chidway. if we've yeah. seen it with less than 1% of the chips in play before. This would be uh, one for the ages. Maybe the greatest of all time if Chidwick can spin it up. He's all in. Here we go. With the Queen Deuce of Spades. Foxen had opened with the 7 4. Okay. Chino's in there with the 10 Deuce. So we'll have Reem versus Foxen on the side. Chidwick all in and at risk. Check. And we'll have a flop of 10 6. Four. It's going to make things a little bit difficult for Stephen Chidwick as both Foxen and Reem flop a pair. Check. He had diamonds on the turn. Nobody has a diamond. Check. Okay, three of diamonds That's on fine. the That's fine. All right, Chidwick survives. Let's chop it up, Jeff. Everybody's made a flush. What do they say about chop pots? Everybody loves. Well, I can't stand it, but here goes yeah. Foxen. Just going to try and sneak away and pick up that little small side pot, I guess. I hope you have something. I did have something. I have the board. You're still alive. Ah. From a three-way chop down to a two-way chop. I should check raised. And because it was a two-way chop, yeah, Chidwick two actually more. accumulates yeah. chips there. Thanks to Alex Foxen. Two bigs, two and a half almost. Shouldn't be a problem. He gets the button. Sure. Can take one off. Maybe an all-in collision will happen. He can ladder up, Jeff. Queen three for Chidwink. I don't think it's an auto all-in. I think you can wait until the big blind. Whatever he does will be correct. <laughs> right, right. He would be alive for both the big blind and the big blind ante next hand. It, it's no different than this hand. Yeah, so he's I think pass. you just take it off. You're, you're all in the next hand. Gino is the ace five of clubs. Calls Fox in with the king deuce. Two forty. And he'll raise. The start to the chaos that Chidwick is looking for. Two forty. Chino makes the call. Sees a five in the window as it comes to ace eight five two pair for Chino Ream. Very, very fortunate, of course, for Chino because we know Foxen is going to apply a ton of pressure. He raised it up pre-flop. He's going to continue here, trying to take advantage of this bubble situation with Chidwick being so short. He knows that Chino just can't continue with a lot of hands. But he certainly can with this one. Pretty sizable check raise will end this one. Good flop. That it was. Shows the goods. I thought it was a good flop for me. In theory, it was. It's not an actuality.
take a look at the leaderboard presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best, and we see that there's a lot of work for Stephen Chidway yeah, left on the horizon. Yeah, one of these stacks is not like the others, <laughs> and uh, that is 2% of the chips in play for Chitty, Chitty, bang, bang. And he'll be in the big blind here with that big blind ante. $136,500 guaranteed to our final three. About it. 73K pay jump from third to second. Up top, $283,500, 284 points in the race for the series championship. A Foxen were able to hold on to this chip lead. He would move into second in the overall standings. Same could be said for Chidwick if he found a way somehow I mean, to win this tournament. When is the last time we've seen a two big line comeback Heads up or three-way at a final table. Well, remember, we've we, seen it before. We almost saw it. Sean Perry yes. versus Alex Fox in yeah, heads up. I'm glad you said that. Perry, was Perry down did to, not quite get it done to two. He was down to two or three big blinds, and he, and he almost came all the way back. And so Perry had that wild comeback at the Poker Go Cup from, I believe, two or three big blinds. Winning one of the craziest final oh, tables that we've ever seen. Worst possible hand. Well, Chidwick with the 10 9. This All is how right. it starts, right? What is it? 9 10 versus what? 7 2. Versus natural 9? Yeah. <laughs> I had the best hand. I believe it. Chidwick all in at risk. Snuck that what is a natural 9? Nine? Nine? If he wins this pot, huh? it's up to what four. What is a natural 9? Oh, you're right. Both of them, right? Huh? They're both natural 9? They're both natural 9, correct. Uh -huh. So it means 9 with two cards? Yeah. Which means you want to put all the money on the tie, and you get 11 to 1 if you're playing Baccarat. It sounds like Chino has played tie. a hand or two at Baccarat. He's probably yeah, played a couple hands, oh, Jeff. Oh, yeah. Uh, tie. Experienced oh Baccarat gosh, player. Me, King 3. King 8 5. So far, so good for Stephen Chidwick. Boxing getting ready to pay the man. Five on the turn. All the money on the tie. Yeah. yeah speaking of ties, the eight could roll off. How about an ace? How about Stephen Chidwick? Welcome back. Okay, so now are we on a break? <laughs> Mr. Chidwick. <laughs> okay. And take a little break for yeah, all your hard see, work, yeah, man. Yeah. Study the four big blind charts, right? right? All right, before we go to break, let's take a look at this leaderboard. And once again, it is presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. Foxen on top. Chino Ream in second. Chidwick, the super short stack. We're back with three hand to play after this. Discord. No, that's uh, it. I'm trying to find it. Going, yeah, I we'll believe. Do. People do, yeah. And the decks will be signed by Phil Helmuth, Antonio Esfandiari, Nick Schulman. Oh. Who's at the final Make sure you go check out the yeah. Poker Go I mean, you Discord draw for this final channel. Table as well. It's linked Perry's in our chat. Here and Brock's not here, so yeah. You don't need to do it. Right. Seventy thousand doesn't seem fair. Well, <laughs> it's fair. What did Joe say yesterday? Joe McCain, the Brock Perry roll? Yeah. The Brock Perry roll? What is the Brock Perry roll? I, I don't know, but Joe McCain finished in 10th yesterday. $31,500. McCain now, on the board. Now there's Brock Wilson, Brock yeah. the Brain. Sean Perry. And there's Sean Perry. So he's combined the two into a Brock Perry. And what was the end of the Brock Perry what? I don't know. The Brock Perry rule? Oh, the Brock Perry rule. Yeah. Unless he's, it's like Brock slash Perry rule. I think maybe it's rule because was, of the. Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah. Are they talking about drawing for hands? Yes, with five yeah. minutes left in a level. That's it. Tournament director Paul Campbell draws a number one through four, and that dictates how many more hands we play at that level. I knew we'd figure it out, Jim. Perhaps some manipulation of the clock by multiple players, including. Sean Perry and Brock Wilson. It's it's all of them. It, yeah, it's not just those two. I think you have to add Sean Winter's name to that list. It's all of them. They all do it <laughs> to an extent. It's a great rule. All the players agreed it's a great rule. They were simply taking advantage 
of the situation at hand. They're playing for lots of money after all. Edges are very tough to come by in these high rollers, so they'll take what they can get. Fox in leading here with the King Jack for 70,000. Strong with the overs in the gutter. Make the call. River is a blank. Both players a little bit in no man's land. Fox and called out of the small blind, decided to lead the turn here on this texture. Chong obviously didn't go anywhere with the gut shot. So what, if you're Alex Fox and what are you deciding that Joseph Chong was playing this way? It almost looks like Jack 10 and Queen and Queen Jack exactly. Maybe backdoor diamonds that would have been picked up. 220. The times that it was up against some sort of ace high holding that could have involved diamonds. We're gonna try and blow them off of this thing. Chong knows that. He's, he sort of knows his hand was on his forehead. Perhaps he can try and alter this tail. If he decided to call, peel, miss Rivers, can he find any bluffs on Rivers over top of Alex? Just going to give it up. The four good, Beast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Sickening. How does he know? First time I ever sweated a card on the TV. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> How does he know it's just going to come? Oh, they are the Golden Eagles. Right. Oh, I never even thought. Jeff, how have we never made we that connection? We never, never mentioned that once. It's probably because Boston College hasn't won anything lately <laughs> in any sport. Not many trophies for the program. They're just smart. They used to be good. Yeah. And they had a big win this year, I believe. This Chino opens pretty big. Goes to 100K. And Dan Smith has the King Jack of Spades. With 25 bigs. Using a time extension. Do you mean sorry with? Nine? A million? Thank you. Smith will make the call on the cutoff. Sacks or heads up to the swap at Jack 9 3. Top pair for Dan Smith. And look how quickly again Chino acts. I'm telling you, I love this about Chino. Just instant. Absolute gin for Dan Smith. Top pair, backdoor shovels. Alex Foxen, Chino Ream, Stephen Chidwick. We are three-handed at event number seven of the 2022 U.S. Poker Open, a $15,000 buy-in, No Limit Texas Hold'em tournament. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. And Brent, now a little bit of disparity in the chip stacks. Yeah, slightly. Fox, and of course, these are overwhelming chip leaders. 60% of the chips in play, 5.2 million to be exact. Chino, got a fighting chance, obviously. Plenty deep, 40 sure. bigs there, 3.3 million, and uh, well, Stephen Chidwick. A little short. Got himself a, little a short. bit of a predicament, Jeff, but he's going to be all in here. He's got three bigs as we have raised the blinds to 40K, 80K with an 80K big blind ante. And I take that back. Because he's in the small blind, he absolutely does not have to go with it here, although the money is not so bad, right? You're, you're, you've already got Chino in there. If you put it in now for all of it, you could potentially knock him out if he doesn't have anything. Get it heads up with a little dead money in the middle. Foxen has to call it off. You've got a suited jack. There it is. I like this. Just calls. Keep him in. He's going to do it the old-fashioned way. Let me try and triple up. Gino with ace-10. 
Chidwick leaves 65k behind. Gino uses those newly introduced yellow 100k chips to blast off to make it 680k. And that worked out so well for Stevie. Again, that fox and money is dead. He now gets heads up to perfection. It's 240, right, Stevie? And Correct. if he wins this, he's back to more than nine bigs. Right in it, yeah. Incredible how he could possibly spin it. He'll need a little bit of help, though. It's all in and at risk with the Jack Three of Clubs up against Chino Reams Ace 10. I hope I didn't fuck myself by getting you out. Well, we'll see. 883. So far, I did. Well, maybe not. You can't beat a three, right? No, uh, no, I can't, but. Yeah. Oh. Turn brings the queen, the queen of clubs. So you see Chino's out top of your screen. It's an ace, queen, or ten, Looking but grim. no club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking grim. Doesn't look that good. River card. It's the nine of correct? spades. Correct. Welcome back, Stephen Chidwick, the Riddler. You have a queen or a nine? No, I mean, you have a nine? No, I had king seven. Looking for an all time comeback. He had 0.9% of the chips <laughs> in play, less than a big, and now all like of a sudden up to 735,000, just under 10 big blinds. And he can get back into this, Jeff. One more double up away. He did enter our final table as the Bad chip king leader. Three fold by me. Horrible. He has ace deuce here. Three seventy five. How much? Three seventy five. Three seventy five. In for a sizable amount. Foxen does shove as Foxen found tens in the big blind. Chidwick with the ace deuce will need some help to continue the spin. Eight six six, no help on that flop. I say no help. It could come 6-6. Six, six. Oh. Turn bring to five. You almost summoned it. Three outs for Stephen Chidwick to stay in this tournament. It's a three on the okay. river. Yep. Good, Good game to Stephen Chidwick out in third. $136,500, 137 Good points. Good too, buddy as he looks for another U.S. Off. Poker Open Series championship. And, Brent, it just all goes back to that tens versus aces hand. Well, yeah, and Fox in there, the bulldozer, finishes him off, collects the scraps that were left. Unavoidable cooler for Chidwick. Still a podium finish, third place. So as we get set for heads-up play, we look at the leaderboard, and it is presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. It's Alex Foxen, about 5.8 million in chips. Chino Ream at about 3 million. But they're plenty deep, plenty of time for Reem to make a run at this thing. Oh, absolutely. And we've seen Reem. I can't wait to watch this heads up sort of Reem's, uh, you know, street poker style versus Alex Foxen's very methodical GTO. Uh, this is a battle that we're going to yeah. see, a little bit unorthodox. $210,000 guaranteed to both. $73,500 separates first and second place. If Foxen is able to win this, he jumps in the second overall on the series standings. You know, one other thing too, Jeff, for, for Chino is over the years, his speech play, his ability to talk at the table it, is a part of his strategy. We haven't heard a ton from him. Let's see if that changes as these guys go heads up. Chino's first cash. Uh, second cash, excuse me, on the PGT this year as we look at the PGT standings. 
Tony Sinistad still leads the way after his win at the Win Millions main. Isaac Kempton in second. After finishing second in that tournament, Perry Petrangelo and Amshurovich round out the top five. Alex Foxen in 11th place entering this tournament. He's going to make a move up the ladder. Yeah, he certainly will. And uh, Jeremy Osmus is also not seen. He is in sixth place, about 40 points behind Ali Amshurovich. And uh, he's second right now in the standings for the Golden Eagle Trophy here at the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. You got six million, I have three million. Oh, big? Yeah. Chino sending a voice note to somebody? Sounded like it. <laughs> Told you he likes to talk. Who needs a text when you can That's just true. talk to Fire text? Fire it off. Yeah. 1075. You have six, right? Sounds right. What's the bet? 175. 800,000. Brent, to your point here, Chino starts this by going blast off mode to 800K with the Queen Jack quickly, too. Right back to Tex and the family. You won't believe what I've done here at the U.S. Poker Open. I'm heads up against Alex Fox. And hurry up, turn it on. It's on Poker Go, also free on YouTube. There we go. Nailed it. He's guaranteed two hundred ten thousand dollars. Oh yeah, sorry. No problem. No phones. I'm forty. Limps in here with the 7-3 diamonds. King 10 for Foxen. 325. Bumps it up to 325,000. Wow. The old Chino would have never folded 7-3 <laughs> suited. That is a disciplined form of Chino ream that we are seeing in front of our eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Foxen looking for his second win on the PGT this year. Won a 15K Venetian high roller. Raises to 175K here. Chino calls with the 10 7 of hearts. And does flop a 10. Betting big, 280,000. Yeah, large sizing, perhaps because it is a jack in his hand where he's able to represent some sort of queen jack, perhaps. Check. Run out. It does turn a pair of sixes. Yeah, and this will change a lot as he's connected, but we have to be concerned about Chino having a nine or a ten. Seven, eight also comes home. Check. Queen on the river, 990K in this pot. Yeah, Checked and by Reem. Fox and Fine with checking in, back. Yeah. Yeah. Chino Reem, 12 and 11. Tristan, how Alex plays, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lifetime heads up. Alex Fox in his 16 and 21. Take a look at our upcoming schedule. The 15K Pot Limit Omaha is underway. That will be our final table coverage tomorrow. And then we move to the 25K price point for a no limit event of Pot Limit Omaha. Then one more no limit. And then the 50K main. 
Same start time, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific time. I can't get no inside tips from his fiance, future wife, baby mama. No? <laughs> That's not gonna work? You have to wait till break. Okay. Okay. Looking to text Chrissy B to get some tips on how to handle Fox Where and is heads she, up. By the way? Uh, I think she's at home right now. She's got a massage. Call. Check. Check. I think Gino's asking, where is she? In other words, why isn't she playing? Right. And for for Chrissy, a lot of it is, is being a Canadian mm -hmm. citizen at the moment. And, and it's tough with the taxes. You know, you get in here, you're going to get a bundle withheld. Very difficult for the Canadians to get in here and fire. She can certainly compete. Won one of the Poker Go major tournaments a couple years ago. Oh, I, I think it's without question. The, uh, when you break it, I mean, female-wise, she is the best female tournament poker player in the world and even blend the genders, and it is 100% oh, she's she, going to be considered one of the best oh. tournament players in the world. Right. She belongs in this high roller scene for sure. Just to your point, the tax okay. laws are not fantastic. I would love it if we could somehow incorporate Chrissy B, Tim Adams, Daniel DeVoris, and I'm sure there are plenty more, but they're oh, just the, the top Canadians that I can think the, of. The Greenwoods, Tim Adams, yeah. DeVoris, you, you nailed it. Yeah, I mean, even you know, Timex started, stopped playing oh. in the States years ago, and that's, of course, oh. because he found crypto, but so there's a lot of them out there that we miss. Check. Gino turns a six. 250. This is Gino's style, fast. Get it moving. Have a little conversation there and there. Try and get in Alex's head. Let's take a look at our hand of the day, presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best. And how about this one? Foxen with that jack six of clubs, raising free out of the small blind. And Chidwick Brent just calling with the king queen, and that would get him paid off later. Yeah, really, it was set up pre-flop. He didn't go all in with King Queen and allowed this opportunity to unfold. Clearly, very beneficial from the run out in the deck, but it was a no-brainer hand of the day. Foxen might still have a headache from that one and that thought process on the turn. Yeah, well, Foxen got the last lap by exactly. giving Chidwick the ultimate cooler and collecting that chip stack. Shortly thereafter. Yeah, really, really rare. Oh. Ring limbs in with the 10 7 suited Fox in with eights. Raise it to 350,000. Quick call from Ream. Everything he does will be quick. I love that about Chino. Eight, five, four. Top set for Alex Foxen. The gut shot and the backdoor flush draw for Chino. Yeah, inevitably more money is going into the middle here. Let's see what sizing Foxen decides upon. It's hard for your opponent to have much when you have flopped top set, but 200. give him a little rope. There it is, 200. the call and turns a flush draw. Ooh. Get ready for it. If, if Chino doesn't believe Foxen has anything and Foxen does come with a hefty sizing here after that down bet on the flop, we could see some serious fireworks on this turn card. Oh, and how about this? The check from Foxen on the turn. 500,000. Gino bets 500,000. Glance 
It's over at Reams Chip Stack. Chino's gaze has not left Fox in. One point one. The check raised to one point one million. Uh, it's like a game of chicken right now. What's sizing by Fox? And he's left the door slightly open. If Chino still doesn't believe that he has anything, he might slam it home. Oh. Makes the call. More than three million in the middle and a 10 of diamonds on the river, which might be a disaster for Chino. is thinking he is acting he is setting the trap right now just hoping Chino has some sort of hand that he can call this inevitable all-in on the river I think Chino caught just enough of it with that very unlucky ten of diamonds on the river see Chino studying Foxen's every motion every movement All in. There's the shove. Credit to Chino. He has not I called yet. I don't think he can get away from top pair. Foxen could certainly have bluffs here in these spots. Some sort of three combination turning bottom pair. Bigger spades that could have missed. You could have anything. I was semi bluffing the turn, but I sort of got there on the river. Did indeed. And he makes Dang. the call. That's it. Alex nice. Foxen making nice. his presence felt at the well. U.S. Poker yeah, Open. You can't pull that river. Yeah, you too. He gets the job done. He wins more than two hundred eighty-three thousand dollars. 284 points in the race for the series championship. And Brent, that means Chino Ream in second for 210K. Love it when Chino shows up to play and perform. And a runner up finish for one of the old school icons, Chino Ream, 200 grand and change taking a home. Nothing but love between these two. And weird spot, though. I mean, I put in too much to fog, you know? Yeah. Was he on the right side of two massive coolers today, or what? Once where he had aces against Chidwick's tens, and then that final hand. Right there. And that means that Alex Foxen is second in the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy. A final look at the results presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. Foxen, Reem, Stephen Chidwick in third, Thomas Boyvin in fourth, Joseph Chong, and Dan Smith rounding out our final table. Alex Foxen taking home the biggest first place prize that we have awarded throughout this series. What a win for him. What an action-packed final table for us. Thank you all so much for joining us. The Golden Eagle Trophy with its watchful eye on the rest of this series. We shift to Potlum in Omaha. We'll see you tomorrow for the final table of event number eight. For our crew, for Brent Hanks, I'm Jeff Platt. Good night.